The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan, we are reviewing the classic 19, uh, 1966 film directed by Ingmar Bergman, Persona. Shall we play a game? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Nude Clan. I am your host, Caleb Craig. And this is Cameron. Caleb Schweiss. And Joseph Guglier. Yeah, and today we're going to be talking about Persona 5. What? No. Really? It's, wait. Yeah, dude, you missed like four movies. I have no idea uh, what the fuck. Shit. <laughs> I didn't know you could make a sequel to that. That's dude, fucking I know, bizarre. it's weird. I call it five. But, yeah. <laughs> wait, when did this come out? Uh, This year, actually. Yeah. A sequel to the 1966 classic, one of the greatest films of all time. Well, it's the fifth sequel. Persona. Or fourth sequel. Came out this year? Yeah, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't know how you missed it. I also don't know why Cameron took so long. Like, it's like two hours, isn't it? He had to watch it like 85 times. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just had to get it down. I just had to get it down. Forty five to know what it was all, all right. about. He is the hardest working it's man. The game. In the nude but clan. oddly enough, it's about well, not really oddly because they share the same title. It is a, about identity and all that, right? Kind of. Sort yeah. of, yeah. I mean Is there a threesome scene in it? There is not. And how about a random dick? There, yes, is, there is, there is a, random a random dick, dick. Yeah. in both versions. <laughs> There's a few random dicks, actually. Uh, in the original Persona, the, I call it the original Persona, <laughs> 1966 Swedish film, uh, there is a random dick that pops up in a montage, which uh, I did show you today. And you, yeah, you did, did say You did, did ask it. me, you're like, did you notice the random penis? And I, I said, well, yeah, I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're asking Joe if he noticed a penis. Well, dude, it, like, For, of course he fucking dude, noticed okay. it. It flashed an erect dick with for like a second during the smooth. <laughs> That's the, the like, whole reason he showed it to you, Caleb. I feel like that is. The, the, that is the, that's the you reason. like that dick? How do you feel about just, that dick? I just saw it and I was like, did I just see that? So I had to like rewind it and I was like, oh, oh you okay, had to take what, a, that was you a had to take dick. a second look. I at had the to dick. make sure it was a dick. Yes. Oh, I have. I'm worried about you. I think you're going down the joke. He path. had to confirm the girth. He was like girthy, <laughs> but dick. It's, yeah, it is a pretty. Uh, <laughs> it was a dick. Yeah, pretty happy penis. <laughs> it, yeah, it was a uh, very happy penis. <laughs> it was very medical though. Like this is an erect penis. Like, that's the image that it is. It's not like... I like how you can classify a dick pic as, this is a medical dick pic. He there knows. There are medical... Dude, yeah. yeah, you can tell the difference between, like, <laughs> something that's in a medical book. You just, like, versus... sift through dick pics and you can classify what kind of dick pic they are? Yeah, is that what you, you do? really can. Okay. You really can. It, yeah. The lighting is a really big the, the part sterile, of it. The sterile <laughs> environment gave it away is what you're saying. Yeah, kind of. But that whole movie really is, like, a sort of stale, uh, empty environment. They're on this island, and this this one girl who's who's mute, and then this other girl who takes care of her. She's like a nurse. This one girl went mute on stage. She was like an actress, and then she has like a big nervous breakdown. This other girl, this nurse, is there to take care of her, and what happens when they're alone together for months is that this nurse starts just talking to her, and like eventually, like their their personas get mixed together and it's this <laughs> mind fuck movie dude and it's honestly this is my ploy to get people to go watch that movie because it is crazy and really well so it, it uses the contrast and a of 10 minute staleness montage at the beginning is also has a dick in it that's it that's that's his excitement and about some it. really cool images of like 
a kid like putting his face on or his hand on someone's face and it's like crazy looking and then the face changes a little bit yeah the face changes because it's, cause it's one of the girls that's the the mute one and then the other girl yeah. that uh it's and then she becomes a she male right so you get the they're dick both from girls. her as well they're both no no <laughs> <laughs> there is a midpoint in the movie when her identity is really going like nuts the moment when like they they kind of come together and then that montage a similar montage is brought back right at that point in the movie it's super artsy i will give that warning <laughs> very artsy but also That's the uh the, also if you see a dick that means it's also artsy. very dark and subversive and she does talk about having a threesome is there any threesomes in this uh persona no well then it's not as good not through my playthrough okay. there was it. all right that's how that's how we know this review is gonna go it's not there's, as good there's, because there's no talk there's of threesomes. No threesomes. Nope. Yeah, there's not. Of course, I think she has... What? What is it in Persona? I think she has a threesome with like some underage boys. I think it was like Oof. really... She just talks about it. You don't see it. There's just a scene where she confesses to the other girl that she had a threesome with some underage boys. It's a crazy movie. Anyway. Okay. What have you guys been playing this week? Whenever I close Cameron my is, eyes, <laughs> Cameron is just staring forward into space. Oh, is it my turn? No, no, no. I know it's my turn. I just had to take a moment and collect myself because uh, whenever I close my eyes, I, I just have like an after image, like ingrained in my cornea of of the metaverse. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, can, I constantly hear music and stuff from that game. And I close my eyes. It's like I'm actually slipping away. Like my persona will soon be found, or your, or your palace. Anyways, I played uh, Persona Five. Go mute. So I played Persona Five. This is what I played. Just Persona Five. Just, just play persona 5. any life along with that. Any real life? No. <laughs> yeah. How no, many that, hours that, did you put into the game this week? This week. Um, I put a solid this week. Uh, let's think. <laughs> I put a solid this week in, um, the game. <laughs> in these uh, <laughs> past three days. Um, I probably put forty hours in three days. That is. And how many hours into actual work did you put in? Oh, um, like work, work. Well, I worked up until Thursday, so okay, I took so Friday how many off. Hours is that thirty-two? Oh, up, uh, okay, so this week in total, how many hours? So I did, so... I just want to know your work-life balance. Oh, uh, well, I did yeah, 32 hours of work this week, plus... Four um, hours in Persona? No, well, you're forgetting <laughs> the amount of Persona I played after work each of those days. I mean, it was limited, but I probably still got an extra, oh, I'd say, eight hours before it. So I saved about 48 hours of Persona this week, plus 32 hours of work. How many hours of sleep? Um, I would about sleep, five. <laughs> I would sleep, uh, <clears throat> from about, I'd say mid, I would go to sleep at midnight these past few days and wake up at shaking? seven. No, I'm fine. My insides don't feel fine right now, but Your I feel fine. <laughs> insides. Oh, cause insides. I was eating like trash cause there's no time to make food. So I just bought a whole bunch of those lean cuisine meals at the frozen oh, aisle. <laughs> Because <laughs> it gives you some semblance of vegetables and stuff like that. So. And also semblance. blood in your stool. <laughs> uh, uh, good chest. Is confirmed. I also uh, <laughs> bought this uh, four-pack of toilet paper from Walmart. It's 60 cents for four rolls of toilet paper. To- four rolls of sandpaper? Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> okay. no. So One I think it's in- sandpaper. I think it's, I think it's insane. Feathers. I think it's insane not to pay more than 60 cents for toilet paper anymore. I mean, it's better than what you had at school or at work. You were talking about what you were eating. Is it one right, ply? But, but for me, um, what I eat in the next step where the toilet paper came into play happened quite frequently <laughs> this past week. Were you, were, you, were you just like playing from the toilet or something? No, no, no. Yeah. But there, well, there was this... have the TV on loud? You're there was this one cut, time cut when it was this fucking... The part where Persona gets on where it's just all this fucking dialogue and talking... I just had my headphones on in the bathroom, just <laughs> <laughs> clicking through the next dialogue. Scene. <laughs> and you're like, fuck it. Uh, I did. I is. did do that. I did do that. Yes. And when it gets all quiet, you just pause it. 
<laughs> oh shit, time's running. Oh no, then you can just fucking pick the three different answers it gives you, and it doesn't fucking change the story anyway. So Ooh. just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, go. And then, oh, well, he said this. I'm like, and I can infer what I said based off of the <laughs> first reply. And then after their first reply to what you said, you, what you said, the story goes back to where it would have gone anyway. Cameron, you came to us and you stood there in like uh, a shock of of not knowing what to do. You, you're like a, you like, it's like you were raped this week. I was, and then you came here to us, and you're just not. You don't. You're not right. I was. <laughs> I was raped. I think. I think uh, someone stole my treasure, and so now I'm just in this phase where I feel compelled to your treasure. You ha- you're going to have a change of heart. Then I'm. I'm in the midst of a of a change of heart where. They have no idea what you're saying right now. I know, and their confusion makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, <I don't>. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> No, no, it, it was just Persona Five. Just Persona Five. It was good. Not even a second of another game. Wow. <laughs> nope, not Such even a, a second of another game. What about Such a resistance. social life? You know, actually, so last night I ended up beating Persona around ten o'clock. My one roommate's like, "All right, take a shower. We're gonna go out." And so we went out with other friends and like workers. Go out. And I so basically exactly how it sounds. And I basically uh, watch them drink themselves into a stupor. And I'm like, "Well, I'm the gonna be the designated driver." So, but I, I can't see because my eyes are <laughs> shut. And so I, I did. I did drive home pretty late last night. And yeah, but it was fine. Fine, you know, fun not to be in the house. It was kind of getting stagnant in there. Nice, so nice, nice. Yeah, kind of smelling like ball sack in the living room. Just nuts. <laughs> it was a fine vintage on that cheese. Let me tell you. Yeah. All right, well, I I have played many a game this week. I played Final Fantasy Tactics for the first couple of days of the week. I played Metal Gear Solid. Um, Solid I played Gears of Metal. Siphon Filter Logan Shadow on PSP. Okay. I you know the sad part is I've only I own every one of those games, but I've only beaten the PSP ones. <laughs> and I think maybe the maybe Omega Strain on PS2. I might have beaten it, but I think there were optional missions that I hadn't unlocked. So, kind of sad. Um, and then I played I played a little bit of uh, Valkyrie Profile, or Valkyrie Chronicles, Lenith? Valkyrie Profile. Valkyrie Profile, Lenith. Um, it's, it's okay. It's really weird, though. The way you move around on the, on the map so far within the first city is very bizarre, so I'm kind of getting kind of stuck. It's a little strange to get used to. Yeah. yeah, it's like a 3D, 2D kind of a thing, and it's yeah, it's weird, but I, I have heard good things you, about it. So. Did you get to a part where you could fight yet? Yeah, I fought one battle. Okay. And it's kind of cool comboing, like just pressing X and square to double hit and shit. Yeah. So I don't have a full party or anything, so. I played that. I also played Telltale's Game of Thrones this week, um, and I... I think I think that's all. I, I think that's it. Okay, that's quite a bit of gaming. Choice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you I put just... in as many hours as Cameron did? No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not getting any fucking medals for what I did. So he's he's growing the hog, and I just uh, yeah. We're not getting any medals either. I don't... <laughs> Yeah. Well, there, there's there's, there's the award for King Hog at the end that we're gonna do sometimes. So. I on the back award right now. <laughs> yeah, I would Good say <laughs> oh, I pre gave out the award just barely <laughs> <laughs> foreshadowing. His efforts are futile. Is what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. I don't know. Unless he beat all six of those games. How he many games? Four of them. Oh, we're not doing that yet. What? Yeah. Oh, I already know. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I played Metal Gear Solid this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and believe it or not, uh, didn't have to play any more Metal Gear Solid after a little while. It's, uh, y- you know, I've I've done a lot of Cameron stuff where I've put off games, but <laughs> deciding that I was going to stream every single day, besides yesterday when I had a shoe emergency, as I said on Ultima. Wow, that sounds super gay. A shoe emergency, yeah. A shoe emergency is when Joe only has one pair of shoes, and then that pair of shoes gets a a hole in them, and I got to use them for work, and it's raining. Fucking quiz! (laughs) And so I took my ass over to some shoe stores, and I got (laughs) a casual pair of shoes and then a pair of uh, waterproof hiking boots. And uh, so I'm shooed up 
right for the now. next edition of Joe Tries to Hike. <laughs> Are you strapped up from the ass up? Mm-hmm. Joe Tries to Hike 2018. We yeah. should, do. <laughs> should do a GoFundMe We should have done 2017. We didn't do any hikes. Yeah, year. I have all this fucking yeah. overtime. Or not over. I have all this uh, free yeah, time. have even more. No, it doesn't roll over anymore. It does not roll what? over anymore. Yeah. Then use it. I that's what I'm doing. Okay? <laughs> I took one day off too and it's going to be a me Why day, it okay? Roll over? It's going to be a me day. You have no. like a maximum <laughs> me day. You no, no, like no. no, I'm no, not. I'm just going to lay in his room no, and no, beat no, up. No, no, no. Like so it used does. to roll over, right? But then they're in and the boss's mind's like, "Well, we're giving people paid time off, but they don't seem to be taking it. So let's give them more paid time off and then make it so it doesn't roll over anymore." I and would they can't that. That's and then awesome. and then they can't and they can't cash it out either. So if they don't use it, they lose it. And so that's their scheme to get us to use our PTO. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, then use it. I can kind of see his point. They were they were playing with the idea of yeah. giving us all unlimited time off, but then like, well, then everyone would feel really bad for actually using any of it because the study showed when you have unlimited time off, you feel really bad for using any time off. I would not feel. Uh, bad I would not feel bad either. Well, people who care about their fucking jobs might, right. you know. Oh shit! Like mm-hmm. if I take time off, they're gonna say, "Oh, he's he's taking time off and I don't." <laughs> But no, they're like, so we don't want any of that. So you guys get all this time Is that off. like Radiohead putting out their album for free and then asking, hey, if you like it, give us money? And like, <laughs> they made more money off of that album than they did Wait, any so other they had album. A, they got enough <laughs> people. It actually worked? It did work. <laughs> that was crazy. The, the, the best part is, is I that I learned no about one... that last week. I was like, what? <laughs> That's awesome. The best part is that no one actually likes them. Oh, wow. They just thought it was a good I idea. I know one person who definitely loves Who is it? Is it Drew? No, it's Parker. Oh my, my god! Cinematographer. That's right. I remember him. Every talking time I got in it. his car, it was Radiohead all day long. And there's I like one or two them. songs I really like from Radiohead, but stoned other than that. and just chilling and want to <laughs> also slit your wrists, then Radiohead is really good music for that. God, dude. Radiohead is really That's good. That's a very niche uh, <laughs> yeah. area. That, of that is good. not a very niche area, just I, so you know. I do love that creep song. Stoned listening has been a thing for quite some time. Stoned and yeah, wanting acid to slay rock, your wrists? Acid rock. I mean, just thing. go way back to Pink Floyd. I mean, not way back, but Pink Floyd and all that. The, the Stoned listening is not yeah. a niche thing. That's what they so call you know. the, them and the doors is acid rock. Because you just take acid and listen to it. <laughs> Or I yeah, usually just get really drunk and do it instead. <laughs> and then I throw up. So <laughs> I don't mind them. I just would never listen to them actively except for the creep song. I hate them, dude. I hate it. The you sound is it? awful. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Can't do it. All right. I hate Rush. I hate Rush with a passion. I don't so. really like them that much either, so that's cool. <laughs> I have like two good songs. If you say Tom Sawyer, I'm going to punch you in the face. That song is obnoxious. <laughs> that has to be it one is. of them. Tom Sawyer, you liar. That, that Neil, voice Neil is what Perk drives me nuts. Sing. <laughs> he can play the drums, but he cannot sing. <laughs> no, you're right. I heard, oh no, there is one good Rush song, and it is that song that is entirely a drum solo. Yeah, <laughs> YYZ thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the drum solo song. The drum people. solo yeah. song is pretty and great. people know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so we know what everyone's been playing this week. Do we? What has everyone... Tactics as well. Oh, wait. We didn't go for you, did we? No. Shit. Sorry. All right, so I played <laughs> Tactics. I played Destiny 2. I played a new game called Hob. Uh, I played <laughs> Block Kirby, Stupid Nightmare Mom. in Dreamland. And I played... <laughs> Fuck, what else did I play? Played Rayman Origins. I hear a new Why? game. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. And your point is, I, th- I think, I think I, both of you have just forgotten about that goal. That's I think once, once, the, it, once goal, it's been broken, there's no going that's, back. That's the precedent that Schweiss set. I didn't set it. You See, I've been no, keeping up no, on my goals. I felt really good about myself this year so far. I mean, it's just sad seeing. <laughs> Why you guys would I fail keep up so on much? my failure? You hey, guys hey, are the hey. ones that had to. Don't hold me don't let me in with the you guys part here. I've been I've been working towards well, my goals. Greg's saying I set the precedent. I'm not, you did. I'm not <laughs> as on soon the as jury. You, as soon as here. you beat, uh, or as soon as you bought uh, Overwatch, and then you bought something else, you're like, it doesn't matter. I already failed. So, it, and we were like, okay, yeah, you guys were we okay with accepted it. it. Yeah. 
So you I set, didn't you, set the precedent. The precedent did, is set by the court, Caleb. It's set by the <laughs> final decision. Did we? Yeah, didn't we? Did make a decision? Did we say whether or not they could continue to buy games on it's broken? Without <laughs> you any, fail it, if you fail it, you fail it the whole year. So one game bought equals we failed that goal. But there's no continuing. No there's no continuing. <laughs> yeah, they don't have any continuing resolution. There is no double nothing. jeopardy. Although this is kind of like saying that. You so can get away with killing it, it's a completely like, different person. So it's after just like being tried in jail for one. But, oh man, uh, it's a that's why different. they gotta get him when they have committed multiple murders. Yeah, there you go. So, what has everybody beaten this week? <laughs> oh, there's something wrong with the player. It's just really fucking delayed. Yeah, Windows um, Media. I beat. I beat a game this week. I beat Metal Gear Solid. I Whoa. beat Metal Gear Solid. Two weeks ahead. Snake, snake. And we started it a week late, so that's pretty damn good, okay? Okay. Gonna be a while until you push a game back? Uh, hopefully. If I, I if I keep to that streaming schedule, it's honestly kind of hard to, to not. push a game That's back. what yeah. I was saying to Craig Unless earlier. it's Persona. <laughs> well, Joe, he doesn't have the streaming schedule. <laughs> if I had six months and played it for one hour a day and two hours it's true. once a week. You could have done that if you had it six months early. Yeah. Yeah. If only, if only like a huge game like that got six months <laughs> exactly worth of time to play. The other thing Caleb and I were talking like about you earlier is. piecemeal it and slowly enjoy it. Is that uh, Cameron's success was based off of Joe's failure. <laughs> so Cameron only wins because Joe failed. It's like winning in golf because the other person sucks really bad. And like you just don't suck quite as bad, but you're still pretty bad. <laughs> so because you pushed back alone in the dark and near, Cameron was given the time. Yeah, actually. I mean, you might have pushed it ahead. Anyway. I mean, I might have. So if he, if if it was on track, I probably would have done the same thing I just did. Just it would have been last month instead of this month. So. There's okay. that. That's a way of looking right. at it. So, all right. So, so we got yeah. Metal Gear Solid for Metal Gear Solid, which was a very good game. Oh, I mean, shitty piece of shit. God damn it! I'm gonna rip that game apart in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I spoiler. I swore like six times. There. You did. I th- are you trying Sorry. to st- stop you, saying? I thought you were gonna say down. You know, two days ago, I was thinking to myself, I was like, I swear a lot. I swear a lot, a lot. And I said, I think a swear jar would be good for me, and I would, like, donate it to charity at the end of the year. <laughs> uh, for, the Joe charity. For new <laughs> it seems to be the only charity you know of. new savings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking swearing up a storm now. <laughs> like, I'm saving all this money, guys. Well, I'm saying, like, I could start at, like, 25 cents a curse. Jesus. Then, uh, curse. And then uh, <laughs> go on from there. I swear. There. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm thinking about doing it. I'll, I'll, I will what's, make my full decision. What's the reasoning? What, what, what is this drop know. in vocabulary it's for? Because I've been cursing since middle school like crazy. I swear a lot. And sometimes it gets to an obnoxious point. Okay. Yeah. And I realize that there are people who stay away from me because <laughs> I curse too much. I realize that I only swear as much as I do when I'm here. Everywhere else I don't. I swear everywhere. Yeah. See, there, there's <laughs> a thing. Especially at work in my car when things happen. You and your persona have, you're one. I still have to realize my persona this is what I got to do. Joe's persona is mine. Don't know what <laughs> what you're talking about. And I feel like a lot of my humor is based on my cursing, and I would oh, like yeah. to I would like to have that not be the case. I would like to uh, be I'm pretty funny sure most of your humor is shitty puns. I'm pretty sure that's your humor. What? No. Dude. That's no. the only thing you do. Most of it. Most no. of it. Most of my humor. Come on. Dude, most of his pu- uh, humor is shitty puns. I mean, come on. Yeah, I don't have to say the S word with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you sound right now. Hey, hey, let's try to make. Let's try to make. <laughs> let's, darn you, Joe. Darn you. <laughs> let's try to make a family friendly episode. Let's see how far that goes. It's the person I can't trust with that. Twice. You know what? The funny, I can do it on Godzilla just fine. When Schweiss comes into the Godzilla show, it is. Whatever, dude. You uh, swear more on there than I do. Over time, 
Out of total episodes, yes. <laughs> and I don't really swear. I said one f bomb once on Godzilla. It's like, my presence. You I blamed like, me being there it. for your square for I your was swearing. Like, f it. It's part of Fine. being in that group. Caleb was there, and you just lessened that part of your brain, and now you're swearing I all the time. I do remember one time waking up. I was sleeping in Caleb Craig's bed. This was true. And, uh, <laughs> and Caleb Craig was, this was a while ago. This is when he lived in uh, Ephraim and I was always at his house. And Caleb <laughs> got up and played some video games. And he was playing with Caleb twice. And then he just said the F word in like 50 times. <laughs> and it woke me up. <laughs> and then I was just like, every time the F word was said, my ears hurt. I was like, stop. And then I think I like yelled at him or something. I, I don't know if you, you remember this. I do remember that. I was like, dude, stop saying the F word. I can't stay. I don't remember my exact words. I was <laughs> That's mad. basically what you said. I yes. was mad. <laughs> I was hearing these curse words so much. And then I, re- like the other day, I was thinking about that and I was like, maybe. It's a super obnoxious. Maybe that's what other people feel. Is that my half asleep state? Maybe that's what other people feel when they hear the f word too much. Maybe it's just like a, just like a little pinprick in your ears that hurts. For people who are not like us, yes, yeah. that's very true. Yeah, I mean, I've just been hi- hanging out with her- horrible people. Yeah, since exactly. Middle school and. Uh, well, it comes with horrible people from lower middle class families that they curse a lot. That's why you just got to change your language based off of who you hang out with. I do that anyway. Yeah. But I kind of want, I kind of want to stop being so obnoxious. Yeah. Well, Dwayne that's never, a great goal. Do I, like, I support that 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think his personality will allow for it. Though. <laughs> well, I just want to. Hey, um, we should just we should just, just cut do, back the swearing. All let's do. Wants. Let's let's no 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 <laughs> guys guys guys. Let's start this goal right now. We'll take bets of how long he can last. Before what? Before he 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 says something. I will say something. That's why I need a swear jar. Well, we're gonna take bets underneath the table, and we'll we'll have fun. We'll watch you. Wait, how much money at the end of the year will Joe owe to a charity? That's a good goal. If you want to, guys want to take that bet? It'd what be bet is it? One. Well, we're going to take a bet of how much money he has. Or I, I wanted to do... Oh, okay. I wanted how to much do... money I have? Twice <laughs> can see my bank account. That is a real can. issue. The password is... <laughs> you know the password. How many dildos has he bought so far? A few. Okay. Not the normal... I would say a normal quantity. <laughs> so how big try. are they, though? I am legitimately going to try not to swear. <laughs> Legitimately going to try not to swear. Except for damn. I gotta keep damn. Damn and hell are going to be my replacement. What about shit? On occasion, but I think I will be charged for it. <laughs> Lesser than the other ones? Lesser than the F word and the C word, which I have only said a few times. All towards Caleb Schweiss, as we talked about this morning. <laughs> uh, not all towards, necessarily. Most. <laughs> Some well, you were okay. referring to me, most but of them not are because of me. you. <laughs> the <laughs> first time that. I ever said it, it was re- that was it referring. Was you. It was referring to me. He <laughs> said, "You don't have to be such a c word all the time." <laughs> it's not really calling me that. It's saying, "Oh, you don't have to." <laughs> so it was saying it to me or at me, but not to me. And then ever since then, I've probably said it a dozen times. Yeah, Kale, you know it's funny. We did we tried to do a uh, an animated movie podcast, and Craig was actually the one that had the hard time with the swearing. Dude, it's because of Schweiss. I can't be around that guy and not swear. <laughs> yeah, there was I this can't. one time. How am I going to combat this, dude? It's, it's you mean how the all heck? The, it's all of yeah. our gaming time, dude. Like fucking, I can't <laughs> stop. I was thinking, like, just like there's this time. there's this one time we were all hanging out, and I'm like, do we just not know any other fucking words to say? <laughs> That's all we say. Remember, remember when we were on the fucking douche thing? We were saying douche all the time, I and then do. and then your and then your roommate Hayden is like, "You guys <laughs> say douche, douche all the time. Like, try replacing with taco. You see how how retarded you guys sound? What the taco, man? Well, You're a taco. Well, I can't. Taco you say isn't as like versatile that. a word. It's fuck is. Well, yeah. he was talking about douche though. That that was just my example. Douche it. Douche it real good. <laughs> yeah, douche it real good. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, what were we talking about? Uh, what has everybody been beaten? Yeah. What, what has everyone been beaten to? Come on, guys. I said Metal Gear right. Solid. Okay. <laughs> I got Tactics, Tactics, Kirby, Nightmare in Dreamland, and Rayman Origins. Rayman Origins? 
Rayman Origins. Rayman. Yeah. Got it. What is that on? It's on, it's on a few things. It's on uh, Wii U and on PS4 and PC. Okay. And yeah, believe it or Wait, not, the first Rayman. The uh, first Rayman, Rayman I think is Origins. on. Uh, no, it, it's it's. I don't think you would start your series with the word Origins. Ever. Oh wait, no, it's Legends. Legends is the one that I beat. Oh, you beat Rayman Legends. Yeah. Okay. Rayman. Origins. That sounds like a. Five there is a Rayman Origins, oh, okay. but it's it's not the one I beat. Sounds like a five minute campaign. No, it's fairly long. It's like one of those Mario games where you have to like do all the platforming bits. But it's a Rayman game. It's Rayman, yeah. And it's one that you could actually play, is Joe. It's Rayman, fairly easy. Is Rayman just a word that they put over all types of games? Because the only Rayman I've ever played, and I realize it's a long series and has a lot of different things in it, only ever played those freaking bunny ones from... Uh, the Rabbids? Yeah, the Rabbids from the Wii. It's, That's a pretty new thing. It's where the, the Rabbids are where Rayman comes from. The Rabbids or, are infecting a lot of things, from aren't they? Rayman, but, Didn't they uh, just severely Rayman infect is Mario? Its own thing. Yeah. Yeah, it was first. Okay, yeah. I understand that, but yeah. those are the only Rayman games I have ever uh, seen. I love they're, the, they're they're platforming. Games. I love the hell out of that first Rayman game. I could never beat it though as a kid. It's Crash. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Crash is related to Rayman in some ways. That's how I felt about well, the first. I think Metroid. it might be by like, the same developer. Are they like ripoffs or something like that? I can't remember. I did play Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I don't know. I did play Crash Bandicoot? Ed, that is a difficult. Crash game. is a three D platformer. <laughs> Rayman is a side scroller. I remember that game being ridiculously difficult after like level five. Crash, whichever it does crash have I a played. difficulty spike, and it's all it was. It was really fun, but it was really platformy, and thus I sucked at it immediately. So that's a lot of games beat. Jeez. We're gonna have to. He felt he felt the, the he felt the Schweiss hand cl- uh, squeezing his taint. So he's like, I gotta, I gotta go beat games. Well, the problem with Craig is that he buys thousands of games and gets almost all the way done with them. I don't buy thousands. <laughs> so now he can go back in and just <clears throat> throw in a couple extra hours. And, that's uh, not true. He, he does it. I he only, does it in a like, way to make you feel like you're gaining Probably only two of them on that list that I have like pre-gamed <laughs> before this year. He, he does it in such a way where you feel like, oh my, am I? Am I catch up he's like <laughs> it's just all about I making your moral <laughs> drop he's just like let's let's tease him a little bit let's let him see the light and then just fucking take it i was him. tied with him one week uh, he beat me for like one week and then I, I took <laughs> that's all that's all course. your that's all your scheme is though you just want him to feel like my he goal can do was something to beat him. my goal is to this beat year? him both physically and I, in spirit and it's more i am making him, <laughs> guys, his, his I am spirit making is gone him in the ground okay that's what that is what i am doing i am making him better better his goal is to beat me therefore i must be better to make him better no you just need to lose to <laughs> no you just need to be more games it's just just to see who who wants the hog the most you know that reminds me of you know you're saying you make him better that reminds me of something quentin tarantino said recently when he was talking about you know he was hanging out with his friends but his friends weren't making movies so he had to move to l like a certain part of la and be with people who really made movies and he was talking about yeah I mean, I was a big fish in a puddle, but I, I had to go in and, and like really take it seriously. And he said, what was it? His, his metaphor was about, uh, like, as an Olympic athlete, like, if you're a runner, if you're the best person in your town, I mean, that's, that's great. But your time is going to be better when you're running against Olympic athletes, you know? Right. So it's that sort of thing. So you're the Olympic athlete in the <laughs> department. And Schweiss's time is thus going to be better because he decided he's going to try to beat you. That's right. Right. It's theoretically, yeah. if, if Schweiss went I'm for I'm a hog that. Olympian. <laughs> <laughs> That's... What does a hog Olympian look like? Like, like him. Like Craig. me. Yeah. <laughs> he's put an apple in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should totally take a picture with him with an apple in his Naked mouth. Naked apple yeah. in his mouth on a big dish. <laughs> 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 Oink, he, oink, baby. Oh man! You know, pretty too. much. You can pretty much just put your mic puffball. <laughs> <laughs> People on he the has stream such a small mouth hole. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all Cameron. Right. Anything other than Persona? 5? Uh, no, Persona Five. And that's so, only played. I don't so know I played Persona Five. We all beat yeah. a game this week. That's, and uh, that's Chase, fantastic. Chase, Chase, Chase. Uh, pay up, man. I beat it. It's true. Um, you beat it on time, Chase. It was. It was your your doubt. <laughs> and me making it, oh, I'll give you 10 bucks if you beat it. That made me go, oh, I got to beat this for Chase. I'm doing this Chase. for Chase in the show. And right. and not being and being the one who 
can argue that I have not yet put off an episode. <laughs> I haven't put off an argue. episode. Yeah. <laughs> I'm we the only one who has purely argue. not put off an episode. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's you not didn't true. beat Nier. Yeah, I did. Wait, yeah. I think there was something that you did. No, beat. I beat everything on time. I swear what? to God. There was one where you were like, I only didn't do it because Cameron... No, no, it was, that was, that was that my was, argument. I was arguing was for oh. Persona, like, if I didn't do it because I was wanting to beat as close to it, him, as close to him as possible. Mm. But I did beat it three weeks ago. All right. Has Caleb Craig ever put off an episode? People I don't know. Who, I haven't. There are people who know the show better than we do. I mean, he has... He he has clan uh, scholars. I was commenting on that earlier. Him. There's people, like, some of our listeners know our shit better than we do. The only one that Splice <laughs> put off that I know of is Metroid, but... I Did you put, put off, off Metroid? Anything. Oh, yeah. That Jeez. was like a week too late. A week or two. Yeah. Okay. I wow. put off games on purpose. <laughs> I know you have. <laughs> you announced that way ahead of time. Yep. I'm going to put this one off, guys. Chase. Chase, you I'm are the be, man. I'm going to be a dick. You are the man. Thank you for that challenge. What did you beat? <clears throat> Twice. Um, first, on Monday, I beat Metal Gear Solid. That was Monday's game. <laughs> and Tuesday's game was... Tuesday's game was Final Fantasy Tactics. And then Thursday's game. But honestly, um, the other two. You don't have to write tactics out and go into my column like that. Well, your column's not going to reach the 20s, so I'm not worried. (laughs) Uh, I also beat Siphon Filter that same day as Tactics. I beat it at work. Nice. And um, last night, I finished the Telltale Game of Thrones, which. Oh, man. Gosh, you're still so far behind. I know. Um, Dude, I gotta play all those Telltale games that I have still. Which I have, it, I have five of them that I need to play through. Wow. Schweiss, I got a plan. Are those the gimme games? So you say, Schweiss, yeah, me, they gave them to us. Me and you are gonna go to GameStop. We're gonna pick out some real short games. <laughs> I have a couple in my arsenal. Yeah, but you, Joe, need, you have a few that you can play, you man. I'm four behind. See, this is why you need five in your arsenal. This is why we all need PCs I, to play all those really short indie games. I did all buy a PSP game to beat it this week. That's the only purpose it had, and I almost bought another one. I was going to buy Ratchet you and buy? Clank up your arsenal and just play through <laughs> it. What'd you buy? Logan Shadow. It was ten hours. Huh. Beat it in two days. You don't have any games to play for New Clan until the end of this episode, right? Yeah. And I don't oh, have anything for it. It's going to be a long game, though. Oh, Schweiss is free. Is is uh, compared to what he was? Is the game we're going to be playing so like free free right now <laughs> for its campaign? It's not as long. Oh, oh really? The internet, yeah. Oh. Is there another game that was voted on for me? Uh, not yet, right? No, okay. no. You you don't have a, a game for a little bit, I think. Yeah. Finally get that battlefield. No, but I'm maybe also a little free, bit. Joe. But I'm actually feeling That's that Overwatch thing. right now. I really want Schweiss to catch up, man. This He's is this caught hurts. up. I see how much Schweiss plays games, and I'm like, how is he still behind? He just does not have the free time Caleb has. That's Look the whole thing. He, they both have forty hours. Hour yeah, we both have weeks. forty hours, and he's playing games at work. <laughs> 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 so he has more time than I do. Well, that's going to end this week. I mean, um, we're moving buildings, and I think I'm in the middle of the center, so. <laughs> Jeez. Gotta have my PSP. So you got to have your hoodie on. and Yeah. Oh, that means you just have to download an emulator. Oh, man. Out of my work computer. Yeah. Oh, you just have it on your, just get a little flash drive and just plug it right in and have it all installed on the on the flash drive. Yeah, that's fair. I've done that at school. Yeah, I remember having that special sauce at school where... It would basically get get rid of get rid of all network uh, administration stuff, so you could go to any website you wanted to. Oh yeah, those and uh, play flash games and Ninja, stuff like that. Ninja shoot. Ninja Proxy Ninja was, Proxy. but they blocked Ninja Proxy now. Special I sauce know, is something a, else. It was like two months of Ninja Proxy being the king, and then it was dead. <laughs> Until they started getting wise to that and started blocking proxy yeah, websites. Lame. Um, so that's so then. So this one kid at school was uh, for a buck would sell you a flash drive with a special sauce on it. Was it Nephi? Um, no, it was not. No, Nephi. wasn't no. he? Was the guy who was all? He was crime rate Nephi, man. Nephi was the guy who'd get you under the table electronics. Yeah, he did. And he, then sometimes he would go through the window electronics and, uh, <laughs> and steal some stuff and get finally get caught. Finally get caught. Yeah. But man, did he sell things for cheap? 
Wow. <laughs> True. <laughs> Cam Cam had a slew of Xbox games. You know, that. He was like my best friend in school in like fifth grade when he, he first moved to cool the States. He was cool enough to hang out with, but any hey, he, 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 he had a smart business idea, and he was making uh, yeah. money. Have you been to Nephi's room? I've been in Nephi's room a couple times, and he had I monitors across the, the wall. Place. He had he had Playstations. He had Xboxes, yeah. computers, all yep. stuff that he was. He and was see, loaded. his his real cool thing was he not only did he would he sell you under the table electronics, but he could fix them too. So yeah. that's how I got him he to know. Him. Him. I was talking about, hey, you know, my Xbox is broken. He's like, okay, well, do you want me to do something special for it? I'm like, and I kind of like, well, I was on the fence about it. I guess we talked about this before, and he just did it for me. And so I'm, like, you know, well, I might as well just take advantage of it if he just <laughs> did it. And then it was the ban hammer to happen to that Xbox. Yeah, so. instantly. Not instantly. It no, was the a moment few, you jumped online, it was, it was like, a month. Click. No, 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 no. I hopped on. I was playing these. Fifteen dollar games for like a month, and then it was no, no more online for you. Know what you've done? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So Poor I'm not, behind. I'm not doing that again. Ugh. But ugh, are you going to be able to beat anything this week, Craig? Oh yeah. How much? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you. Can't tell say. Me. Twice. There's some Mortal Kombat's in there. I do have Bloodborne. Real short campaigns. I have a few of those. I do need to play Mortal Kombat 9 because I have trophies in it and it yeah, dr- do. brings down my overall percentage. I, do I can lend you more. my Mortal Kombat 10 as well. I don't want your games, Caleb. Ooh. I'm giving you the Ooh. opportunity to play short games, Why? So you, I, you, you claim you're trying to help me get better. That's but exactly what I'm doing. I'm you, offering you sick. games, dude. <laughs> You're sick. You're, ta- do- you're taunting his soul, you know how man. How much time I put into gaming this week? It's ridiculous, <laughs> and I still am. I'm only one closer hey, than I was before. I know you could put more time into gaming. <laughs> I know you can. There's time. I saw Caleb look at Alex for just one second there, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I see too much. <laughs> I see I, too much. I can't play any look more at- games. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's giving she's giving them the, uh, giving a look back, man. Okay, yeah. I can't I take that back. I take that back. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Uh, Okay. We should probably get to Persona. Oh, hold on. We got a question first. Is it about Persona? Uh, There are a few questions we have for Persona. We should just do those. Well, we can answer that after the review. All right. Okay. All right. So this first question is from Shinru. Says, uh, "I'm t- talking to people. Just I'm talking people. Just <laughs> raging." I, okay. Hold on. What the fuck? Okay. The, que- the actual question is: Have you guys ever encountered toxic uh, toxicity? <laughs> God damn it, dude. Well, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> While uh, while playing multiplayer games online, uh, he's talking to people, just raging and insulting people on their team, even when they're winning or losing, kids screaming in their ear, or saying that you suck, that they want to murder your family, and (laughs) DDoS your internet. Now, I know you guys mentioned Halo Online, and I believe Schweiss talked about playing League of Legends, which is an infamous game. So do you guys have any stories? Hone. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, Hone was a fucking awful experience for Joe and I. We got on there, tried to play one match, I've heard and Hone literally, is better than League. yeah, literally every single person that wasn't Joe and I was telling us to uninstall. <laughs> <laughs> hey kid, Alt F four. <laughs> yeah, I got so mad at it that I've I disabled the chat box in League eventually. I was just like, I'm done, I'm done looking at this thing. I'm done with it. And then I would just get verbal abuse from the team speaking. So. <laughs> yeah. Joe, get Go all healthy twice on Joe. Yes. <laughs> people were so dumb and humorless. And for some odd reason, people... Guys, stop doing this if you're one of these people that, like, when they play video games, that they're serious about it. Just, it's not a serious thing. Unless you're playing competitive. Unless you are actual... If you're... Are you, if you're were you ranked matches? No, were you ranked? hardly ever, man. Okay. Hardly ever. Then it doesn't make sense. I, yeah. did, I did rank matches like five times because I was afraid my score going well, down. Well, okay. So for, <laughs> for, for League... the same reason why I won't play Overwatch ranked. <laughs> it's, for like, it's for like League, the reason that Schweiss and I got so mad is because like it's, it's because... an hour-long fucking game that you're playing each time. Yeah. And if you're doing okay and then all of a sudden you get steamrolled because your fucking teammates are idiots... 
Yeah, then and it's, then it's a horrible experience for you. Well, yeah, it's and it's a, an hour long. It's a very emotional ride to play League of Legends. It's so long, yeah. and one tiny mistake from one person can cost you everything. Yeah. If and, one guy is out of position and, and dies, I would always say it's just a game, and then Schweiss, and then the other F-U. people, yeah, and then the, <laughs> and then the other people will always like, be toxic what, too. So I'm like, you're only saying that because it's your fucking fault. What rank did you end on when you stopped the glory um, days? I got to silver two was the highest, so huh. I wasn't very high. I think I was like bronze one. Yeah, when I was done. Yeah. I was my first ranked game. I won and got into silver one. <laughs> and then it was all downhill from there. <laughs> I got I got down into uh, to bronze very quickly. One match. Yeah, league is pretty toxic, but I I know why. It's just still frustrating. And like the last time I went back to it, it was still really toxic. But I don't care as much now. So I was just like, God, you guys are crazy. They're like toxic. Oh. Love. They're like, why would you play this character if you don't know him? I'm like, well. Isn't that the whole point of the game is to play a character to get to know him? Like, we're not in ranked here, people. We're just playing. And they're like, oh, you should. Or they, they report you for not playing well. I'm like, report him. I'm like, for what? He just sucks. Yeah. Do you want him to get better? Because reporting someone for being he, bad at a game is the yeah, stupidest like, fucking thing I've ever heard They ban you for shit like that. Like, they and put then, you in lower, like, tiers for other people, for, like, lower level players. And then if people keep doing it, then you get banned. You just have a yeah. bad game sometimes, and that yeah. would be if the one time. If you become yeah. a toxic person, like Schweiss did, and <laughs> did to some extent, uh, playing a video game, you should stop playing that video game. It's the same thing. It's you should also game. stop if you're really bad at it. Is it? It's the same thing. <laughs> I just split off on that crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, the same really, thing. You just really contradicted bad. yourself in one I, minute. I, look, look. <laughs> The difference is, is you you weren't really bad with new people. You were really bad with the person you had been playing solely for, <laughs> for months on end. That's when you should probably find a new game. I was trying Paragon, which is like the the console version of these MOBA games. And it's the same way. If you start to suck online, they're like, get them out of here. Report them. Ban them. And it's like, and what is it about these MOBA games Fine. that just make I'll people so violent? A hole. Yeah. And I'm like, you probably would never. Is it the same way in life. Overwatch? Uh, or do people get that way? There's, uh, yeah, to an extent they do. Because uh, I've, I've never experienced that in Overwatch. I apparently had somebody uh, use a thing on me to cut my access to the server. Oh, yeah, I felt that. So, yeah, there's this one time in Overwatch where someone can. Overwatch apparently has this thing where people can target your internet connection and make you disconnect from a game. Now, there's this one level on the moon base where you, ha- you have to control the point, right? And there's this big open bay area window that people from coming from the opposite way can see in and shoot in. Right. I was playing Arissa, So I had to keep dropping a shield down in front of it and then shoot anyone trying to peek around it. And then all of a sudden, boop, I was kicked off. Yeah. It's usually only players that do pretty well that they kick off, but, uh, it's yeah, apparently it's, a thing. Yeah, they. I don't like, know if it's a thing anymore. If, they, but. if people do it too much, they'll ban them. But like, like it's a thing that people can do. And yeah. It's, so it's ridiculous. I don't. I just. It's just hearsay. I mean, my connection was going just fine. I wasn't lagging at all. No rubber banding. Yeah. I was just you know kicking ass and all of us and making it so they can't get into the base. And all of a sudden, I was disconnected for no reason. Just said you lost connection to the server. Yeah. Someone was so. wondering what Hone was. It's Heroes of New Earth. Yeah. Okay. It was before do- Dota two came out they were kind of rivaling league of legends yeah it's made by like one of the other guys who it, did, yeah uh, there were three people behind dota. uh we talked about this on the moba yep. episode there were three people behind the original dota and each of them kind of were hired by different companies to make a similar game and that's how we have heroes of new earth league of legends and dota 2 yep it's crazy it's crazy that all those people had worked previously on the original Dota, which was, of course, from Warcraft 3. Uh, it was like a little multiplayer mod thing that was yeah. for that. So Those would probably have been the days to get in on it when it was on the cusp of becoming what it is. It was already there when we were trying Heroes yeah, of New Yeah, when you Earth. guys were trying it. but I'm sure Heroes of New Earth is dead because Dota 2 took off really well. And Heroes of New Earth was kind of the loser already. And now it's... Probably it's probably just uh, the only people there are the people over. who are really good at it. So yeah, it's, and they yeah, were there immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heroes of New Earth was, to be fair, uh, the person I always talked to about this was someone who I used to play Dota with, the original Dota, 
he went off and started playing Heroes of New Earth instead of League, and he was like, "It's just, it's." Uh, he always he said it was much better. Fact is, it was a lot closer to the original Dota, which is way more brutal than League of Legends is. The towers are sick. Yeah, they're disgusting, <laughs> like, and everything is way you. faster. Yet the map is like way bigger. It's crazy. So. And there's way more heroes. At least there was at the time. It's it's different now, I'm sure. But at the time, that's how it was. Yeah. I mean, that's why they have it's a brutal. non-competitive mode and a competitive mode. The non-competitive mode is for learning and playing. And don't play competitive if you suck. Because then they're going to get mad at you. Yeah. Play non-competitive until you feel like you can play competitive. But if you're a non-competitive play, don't get mad at the new person trying to yeah, learn the game. I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, stupid. more players just makes it more fun for you. So... Yeah, I don't think there's a single game that's out there that doesn't have any kind of toxic Frank, environment yeah. for well, online. League made their little 15 minute versions of the same game. The there was like a special like the the three v threes, all random, all mids, where it's one lane and everyone ran in. No, there was a game mode that they had out for like a month. That was, oh the fucking it was it was just extra everything was extra damage and the game just went oh, way the faster. Earth mode, the ultra rapid fire, yeah. That they did. The game was Fools. better. The game was instantly better. It was pretty fucking. <laughs> the learning sweet. curve was sick, but yes, I was able to destroy. And people it was like, with, oh, okay. Ergot. Well, it's not yeah, that you were able to destroy it. Disgusting. If you lost, and it was only a fifteen minute match, it didn't. You didn't get as mad. Yeah, it just it sounds like a there's a. It just sounds like the there's a certain type of game that you like. Short. You like those, uh, you know, more or less arcade type games where fifteen minutes in, you kill people, and you, you know, you don't feel too bad about it. That's the type of game mode that you like. Yeah, that is probably true. Yeah. yeah. So, Cod's although free. I loved League le- enough that I played hours and hours, yeah, we put a lot days, of time into that. Months it's of sad where we into got it. with it. Nowhere. So it's sad. Yeah, I'm done with that game though. It's behind me. Yeah, <laughs> I would only get into it if I didn't have. Ultima. Didn't even install. There's that one time I, I I rage quit LOL. It was like two years ago, and then randomly I reinstalled it again and. I pulled it up and it goes, hey, you quit your last match. Don't do that again. I'm like, dude, that was like two years ago. Can't you just forget? (laughs) Forgive and forget, dude. (laughs) Don't you know? We should probably get into Persona an hour in. (laughs) All right. Peggy 16. Peggy? It's the British one. What? You are truly as he anticipated. This is truly an unjust game. But if my voice is reaching you, I beg you, please overcome this game and save the world. I'll navigate your escape route. Follow my directions. Enemies here? Suspect confirmed. Cuff it. It can't be. Being that all those crimes were led by a punk like this, you seem to be enjoying every second. You transferred to Shujin Academy, correct? I feel like we're going to get along just fine as troublemakers. Looks like you'll just have to live a normal, honest school life for the time being. Still, make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up. Okay, let's do this. I'm prepared. Let's focus and get moving. This is the best part of being a phantom thief. Yep, good stuff. I'm satisfied. Spotted a shadow. Let's get it, Joker. The shadows are ready to kill. Show your true form. Joker. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Oh, penguin. <laughs> the personas and bring them here. Execute it will have extraordinary power. To even stronger personas. <laughs> the world is not as it should be. It faces an inevitable utter ruin. However, mankind is said to hold the power to overturn even the most dire of predicaments. And that sold a bunch of copies. Wait, is this a Japanese yeah. role-playing game? Is that what this is? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. Wow. Uh, sometimes I like to play Japanese role-playing. Uh, well, this, game, ha- this game has that for you, too. Little oh. little maid and a little role-play going on with the maid. So. Are all Japanese women maids? No. No. Oh. No. Damn just, your, just your homeroom teacher. And there is a maid cafe. <laughs> well, we just know that that's every store in Japan. There's only one. 
They're all cafes. <laughs> There's <laughs> three, three cafes. Um, I don't know. I there's, just know the diner and then the main the Le, cafe. There's LeBlanc and then well, that's, the that's diner. The, no, no. And then Le there's Blonde, Le, the brunette. Le, Le, Le LeBlanc is not a cafe. It's a coffee. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, is it a cafe? It's a coffee shop. What do you call yeah. a coffee shop? Uh, I don't know what to call it a coffee shop. <laughs> cafe? It has food. Cafe? Yeah, it has one type of food. Curry and coffee. Yeah, see, he has he has curry. So, this special, like this, gross. this this sci- the scientifically curry engineered curry recipe and this blend of coffee that complements it. So, or is wow. it the other way around? Yeah, it's the other way around. Uh, it's mostly a coffee shop. Yeah. yeah, it's it's the coffee and then the curry to complement the coffee. To the coffee shop. Yeah. All right. So Persona Five is a role playing game developed by Atlas for the uh, PS3 and PS4. Uh, Persona 5 is apparently the chronologically sixth installment in the Persona (laughs) series, uh, and it's part of the Megami Tensei franchise. Um, The development began in 2010, just after they made the Catherine game. Why the fuck did you do that? (laughs) Do what? You know what you did. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. No, I don't. All right. With the, as with previous titles... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> as with previous titles of the Persona series, dude, you need to fucking stop. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Craig. Yes, you do. Shut the fuck up. I'm not saying anything. Why would... Cam Cam, what the fuck, man? Okay. Uh, as with previous titles in the series, the party does a battle with the supernatural enemies that, uh, using manifestations of their psyches called Personas. Uh, the game incorporates role-playing elements and dungeon exploration alongside social stimulation simulation <laughs> scenarios. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, you're distracting me. Stop it. How am I? You're not hearing anything. I don't have to to know what you're doing. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think I'm doing? Uh, I think you're messing with the sound shit. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. That's there's a lot for development here. I can't read it all. I can't. There's there's honestly too much. There's too much. There's too much. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with it you? It sounds like you're in like the emptiest of empty auditoriums. <laughs> like five people come to hear you speak and you're tripping over your words. <laughs> and uh it's funny, dude. Oh, okay. It's funny. Okay? I'm glad. I'm glad we're you're a having comedy fun. show, man. It's okay. You can be made fun of. A <laughs> I'm made fun of constantly. All right. Yeah, that's true. Constantly. You could pull back a little bit. No, oh, geez. You want Is... me to pull out? <laughs> yeah, I would like you Emo- to pull emotions out. Yes. Are, emotions are a little a little raw right now. Well, yes. under the surface. No. No. <laughs> so can't read about all about development. Dude, there's honestly too much about development of this game. Well, <laughs> it was developed, though. It was developed. Okay, all right, we got it. All right, so story? Yep. All, all right, right, game, game. So, enter in teenager, high schooler, about to start his second year, in his hometown, sees this one guy roughing up a He's woman. He's a high schooler who's about to start his second year? Of high school, yeah. Oh, I thought you were like second grade. Oh, no, no, high school. <laughs> No. And so he's in his hometown. He's walking down the street, sees this guy roughing up a woman. So enter in high schooler, save the woman, right? Ends up getting an assault charge slapped on him and he goes on probation. And then for some reason, they need to transfer him to Tokyo where he's going to live underneath um, this one guy named Sojuro to make sure he serves his probation time. All right. So gets transferred to Shujin Academy where he begins his new life as a high schooler in Tokyo. Lo and behold, a little <laughs> random app gets downloaded on his phone, and later that oh, night, a dream that later he that night sees Igor. Later that night, he falls asleep, and he's taken to the Velvet Room. Yep, the Velvet Room, and he learns about the metaverse and things that are happening. Um, behind people's uh, cognition basically this whole nother metaverse where people's ideas and passions become physical things and their corrupted desires become things you can steal to change their heart yeah that's so, yeah. so you've got to get the keyblades and attack the heartless <laughs> <Is that laughs> no, right? okay so basically what happens it is looks like that 
and through the power of your friendships, can you overcome the challenges of evil cognition? Mm, sort of. Okay. Basically, what happens this is game the sounds like nothing. This game okay, makes no sense. <laughs> Was it Basically, going what detail? happens is that you get a. <sighs> You go to the Velvet Room, you get an app that allows you to enter people's psyche, basically. The Velvet Room. Uh, no, no, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. Uh, Is so that you, like the Powder Room and Breakfast at Tiffany's? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. It's, a, it's a prison where you're behind okay. bars. Yeah. Uh, so you, you can go into people's psyches and you find out that uh, certain things about people, like for instance, uh, you and this other person, Ryuji, Go into <laughs> who is Ryuji? Ryuji is the yellow-haired kid. I I was asking you to explain. Well, then who you Ryuji explain is. it. Don't just uh. fucking ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb's on edge today. Everybody needs to be a little bit nicer to Caleb. Um, That's right. He'll go League of Legends mode on you. No, I I haven't gotten that. Okay, in a long so time. anyways, <laughs> you're, none of us have. You're this you're this misfit <laughs> high schooler student. It's leaked that you have um, a criminal record, so everyone keeps your distance. Besides Ryuji, your first friend at this academy, you form a bond with him, and then you and Ryuji um, find out about this other world, this metaverse, and um, find out that there's these adults with evil, twisted desires um, that you encounter throughout life so the first one you find this bad guy who's at school you change his heart i don't know if i'm gonna go into spoiler territory uh, well we can we can talk about it okay so the first guy is kamashita he's the pe teacher of uh the school and he is the cap or the uh, coach of the volleyball team both for the male and female teams um and what you find out through going into his cognition he's an asshole by the way and uh you (laughs) Like, you know like like one of those bosses, of like the penis boss? No, no. no it's not like that. Uh, oh. So you, you find out that he has uh, what's called a palace, which is like basically a manifestation of his twisted desires. And so he thinks of the school as his own personal castle. Yep. Um, and so he basically treats like his uh his students as slaves and even has like sexual relationships with uh most of the female team he sexually so abuses that, the yeah, females he sexually in the abuses them so that he can keep them in this line game. and so that they like and everybody so knows. he can keep them in line yeah he, he keeps them in line <laughs> and he, what like, the and hell? So, because he's like he, in, he he physically abuses the male uh males on his uh volleyball team and he sexually abuses the women yeah. whenever he wants to. And so, ev- and everybody knows about this, basically. Well, the, most, some of the uh, teachers uh, do. Quite a few people, yeah, but they don't say anything because he has made their school famous. Because, because he the was, volleyball yeah. teams do really, really well. No, he was really famous because he was a, and, yeah, a he, he was, was an a, Olympic gold medalist for the school for volleyball, and he came back to the school, and he was like their their star of yeah. that school. And, and he is making the volleyball team really good. And he was yeah. making the volleyball team really good, and he was yeah. Yeah, a, go, a gold medalist. So yeah. yeah, and then in his palace, um, as you're going through, you see his his uh, twisted desires manifested as you're sneaking through, killing um, shadows that he's twisted uh, to his desires to protect his palace. And um, he has there's this one part of the palace where a whole bunch of the pillars are just like women's bodies um, with their asses poking out. Their yeah. Yeah, and you had to climb up the ass a, of yeah, one of them. Yeah, it's the it's the castle of lust. So yeah. like, there's there's seven palaces. So the game makers are saying this guy's a perv, yeah. and now we all get to watch his pervy thoughts. Oh, <laughs> dude, they, it gets sick. Okay, uh, this is not a game meant for children. No, there's it's rated M for a reason um, or mature. Yes. <laughs> That why it's rated M. Yes, yes, Joe. Rated that M is, for that is, mature. That is why. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so there are seven palaces that you go through, and each one basically represents um, a, a sin, basically, and that that sin is uh, their twisted desire in a way. Yeah. And so you go through each of those, and you finally find the last guy, who is the guy who beat you. Or well, you punched him in the first part of the game, where you find out that uh, he sent you to jail and all that stuff. So the first guy he you got slapped with the assault charge with. Yeah, yeah. And you found out that he's trying to become prime minister. Whoa, we're past uh, streaming uh, capabilities here. 
We can talk. We can, we we oh, don't wait. have to spoil everything. We're gonna get we're gonna get banned. We're gonna get banned. <laughs> no. Okay. So anyway, the you find the guy who tied to you from the beginning, and then you beat him, and then you find out that you have to go to the depths of Memento, Mementos, oh, geez. which is the explain it, which is the uh, cognition and psyche of. All of society, basically. So, so you know how these so evil the twisted world. You know, so how all these people have their evil twisted desires and they have their own palaces, right? Now the the palaces the evil are twisted basically des- just sectioned off by people yeah. who have really intense desires, right? And then Mementos is just a collection of uh, everyone's twisted desires in one place, yeah, of the normal people. And you descend into the depths of Mementos to yeah, find so out you, the true evil. Yeah, so you change Shido's heart and you find out that basically nobody really cares about it. They still believe that you are evil because you tried to basically frame this guy. And so you realize that you have to change the heart of the entirety of the society because they refuse to believe that this guy is evil, basically. I mean, that last part was a really great reflection on people in their everyday life of what their desires are and how they would rather push the choices and of their life off to someone else. It'd be so much easier if I didn't have to make my own choices. Someone could make my choices for me. So it's a real good reflection on however, you know, just the human soul and what they want. Yeah, and so basically you go through the depths of mementos, you find out certain things for your friend Morgana, and then you basically change the heart of society. And that's that's the story. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That what really do you guys think of the story? Version of the story, but yeah. So I, I assume it's way more in depth because you said it, it was all cutscenes and it took you eighty five hours. It, it's very yeah. We skipped over a lot so we didn't very, spoil too much very in depth and but yeah it's honestly i love the story of the game it was fantastic there's a lot of like hidden stuff in the game just from like uh like allusions to other pop culture things yeah allusions to certain things like there's like meanings in like pretty much everything that's going on like uh dude it is it is fantastic uh i would give the story a 10 10 out of 10 for story from caleb craig Damn. Worth the uh, the the ban on <laughs> sp- on uh, streaming past a certain point no, in the game. I honestly don't think that anything should be banned for like just by streaming it. It's you know I've, honestly a little. Ridiculous. I've come to find that people get really touchy about spoilers. Well, yeah, people get touchy about spoilers, yeah, but, but if you're looking watch... for yeah, if you're like going to watch somebody play a game, you should expect spoilers. Yeah, there's a certain and should, game, and we should put a, f- a fucking spoiler announcement at the beginning of this episode. Well, it yeah. is going to be titled Persona Five Review. Okay. And well, they know we spoil things. So. Yeah, well, except for the first person well, that, that this is their first episode. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, you know, it's honestly, you got to take a little bit of personal responsibility with that shit. When you watch someone stream a game, you can't expect to not have the game True. spoiled. Like, True. Are you stupid? Do you think they but, just have their face and no video game? I was bringing that up probably because the creators of this game feel like they don't like spoilers either. So. Thanks for the tell. Yeah, thanks. Hey, yeah, they don't like spoilers either, but it doesn't matter. If they if people didn't want it to be spoiled, they wouldn't watch people stream. It's like looking at YouTube comments. It's you're you're the one that fucking scrolls down there. You can't be like, oh, "Thanks for spoiling Game of Thrones for me, douche." It's like, "Well, why were you looking at YouTube comments? <laughs> they're awful, first of all. They're a hellhole, and secondly, they're full of spoilers. So yeah. fucking stay away. Show some restraint. It's honestly... People shouldn't have to limit themselves because of your in- in- inability to do so. On a personal level, it's ridiculous. And it's basically like watching Game of Thrones and being like, "Oh, this is, the show just spoiled it for me. It spoiled <laughs> Game of Thrones for me." <laughs> you, you go into it expecting right. that game. You should expect. Spoilers. Well, anyways, uh, you can't stream the game past the November, which is really like the the last quarter of the game. I would say is in November. So at least it was for me. What's that? The last quarter of the game starts in November. Uh, basically, yeah. Yeah. So they they let you stream all the way up to last quarter of the game um, for the epic reveal of the end of Cheeto and Mementos. But yeah. 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 
What do you think of story, Cameron? Story wise, this was quite the game. Um, I have now, not this was played your first Weeby game. This is my first Weeb okay, game, my first right. RPG. And no, I have not played a video game that gave this much thought and depth to the story. There's other things that I want to talk about the story, story the way they displayed the story, but I feel that goes more into gameplay. For what are you talking about? For how they, all the exposition. Well, the exposition feel, is there because you're not supposed to play the game in like two days, Cam Cam. <laughs> even if I was playing this game normally, I would fucking fondle that fast forward button all the time. Well, that's why it's there. Exactly. But I don't feel like you should feel the need to fast forward during a first playthrough. But when the fucking kids will all meet together, spend 10 minutes of real time talking about something, and then you leave them, and then they text you for another 10 minutes about the same fucking thing that is talked about. It's not for 10 minutes. And then you're, you're exaggerating. you move on to the next scene for just more fucking dialogue. And I think that fits more into gameplay. So story-wise, I'm going to give this one... I don't know. I, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 for me. Damn. For story. Yeah. 9 out of 10. What takes the one point away? Just what he talked about. No, no, no. That's going to go would, under gameplay. Um, that's not really a gameplay thing, though. It kind of can be. It's me trying to play the yeah, game but it's and still then this separating story. separating me it's away more, from from I don't know separating me away from the character because the responses were very rail they, they're railroading the story for you. They're giving you three responses, none of them of I wouldn't say any of those. So as trying to relate to me as a person trying to play the game, it didn't do it very well. So that's why the points taken away for me trying to fit into the suit of a high school student. It just didn't fit very well for me. So yeah, I would the imagine skin suit. Yeah. 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 Fitting into your old suits. <laughs> rough. I, I, it was hard for me to get into that Japanese high school, kind of scene so i guess that's why i'm taking one <laughs> this point isn't my scene guys but <laughs> it's just not my scene as a story i could very well i can sit down and enjoy it if this was an anime i would probably watch it to the end there is going to be a persona 5 anime i will watch it okay. isn't that just the game yeah it was basically it's the, it's the well, fucking game so. well you'd get the story of the game yeah the story that you missed in those 85 hours i yeah. mean there are parts of the story where if you when you reach a a momentous part of the story. The idea there is a, a full on animated itself. anime scene. Yeah. Um, where they, it's actually looks like it was taken from an anime episode of, you know, if they were to make it. So they already have like little scenes that you can see it becoming an anime with. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah, nine out of 10 for story gameplay. How does it play? You got to tell me. Honestly, the gameplay is fucking awesome. But, uh, how does it work, though? Okay, so you you played Final Fantasy X, so you should be familiar with like the. It's got a the mechanic where you can switch out party members. Sure. Um, you can switch out party members during your turn, during their turn, depending on if you um talk to certain people. Like you have to build up relationships with uh with pretty much all the people around you because they can affect certain things. Like there's a shogi player person that you can meet and she teaches you kind of tactics that you can use in battle. So there's like an ability that you use that uh can make it so that you don't have to wait any turns before you can escape or before you can like do other actions and she also allows you to switch party members like instantly during your turn or their turn. Um it's just it's really awesome that way that it has like a kind of mechanic like that from 10 um and also like it's just like every other rpg in a, in a way where it has like elements that uh they're weak to that they're strong against uh like every enemy there's like three little things that they can have for certain elements and even physical attacks or gun attacks you can be uh they if they're strong against it it means they take like half damage from something and if they're weak against your, it your typical like kind of you know turn-based type combat yeah, yeah yeah you hit them with their element and if you uh hit them with the element that they're weak against it knocks them down and it makes you so you can perform another action yeah so you can keep hitting them with their so weakness they, and then you can keep using actions or when you can, they like, get knocked down do they get up again <laughs> Uh, after a few turns, uh, yes. They so will. you're never going to keep them down. Uh, you will get them down permanently if you oh, kill them. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah. Man. 
<laughs> All right. So <laughs> an, 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 another really, really important part, I guess, of the story and gameplay <laughs> is your persona. So now everyone who's on your team who fights with you, um, as you play through the game, you add, slowly add more party members as you're affecting the lives of those around you. More people join your cause. All the mis- misfits of your, or your school and society are all working together. Um, and each one has their own persona. Now, the, I can, couldn't help it. Um, couldn't help what? Uh, you're looking over my shoulder at something. I knew something was back there, so I had to take a look. I get nervous. I was looking over my shoulder because <laughs> Alex was moving around. I was like, what is she doing? Anyways. Um, That's all that was happening. You are these to, uh, like, one really important part wait, of the guys, game? Guys, let's stop the show once it. Shh, shh, shh. Damn, damn it. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, now we're back. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways. Personas are a very important part of the gameplay. Now, a persona is your version of yourself um, that is in the cognitive world. So someone else's idea of you in, in the shadow world, the metaverse, that's your persona. Now, well, persona the, users... Your persona is like your psyche. It's right. You. And so a persona, a persona user is yeah. someone who's realized their persona and can now use their persona in the metaverse to do various things with the magic attacks and stuff like that. Now, each of your teammates has a specific persona, which is their... Um, their other person, a part of themselves. This is my other me. They like to say stuff like that a lot. Um, anyways, each of your teammates have their own specific persona. And by spending time with that teammate, cultivating that relationship, and even people outside of your team, your teacher, um, doctor, your, the person who takes care of you, you strengthen that relationship. And then their type of persona, um, your way you can interact with that persona increases, giving you higher levels. So when you go um and so the, your story with you is that you have your own persona but you can use other people's personas so you can acquire their mask yeah, their embodiment your, of that persona yeah, and your use character it. is basically a blank slate and so you're able to switch between personas well you're not necessarily like a, a, other person a blank slate because you have your own persona but you are the well, way you are is you can encourage people in such a way where you can use their persona and so that's part of the where the velvet room comes into play where you can t- find these personas in in this cognitive world which is personas of actual people who are living in the world you can just convince them their cognitive version of themselves to come fight for you and then you can take those personas and kill them and combine them into other personas that are more powerful to help you now there are so many different personas and combinations um, that you can come up with Um, when you take someone's relationship all the way to the max like you spent time with this person you can decide if you can date them you can decide whether or not you want to date that person Uh, but when that relationship with that person is maxed out you can create the most powerful persona of that so when you no longer pull out (laughs) they get stronger you you do encourage a second awakening in that person so yeah when it's your girlfriend, you know what that second awakening is. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> when you when you have your when you have your <laughs> teammates, when your teammates have their second awakening, their persona evolves into a more powerful version of that persona. They're yeah, real. They have a clearer, their real persona. Yeah, it's like they have a clearer version uh, or clearer idea of who they are. Right. And that's what happens. And you help yeah. them realize who they are through your friendship. And so this game really wants you to cultivate friendships with these people because when your teammates are high your level of friendship with you they can do better things like he said when you knock someone down you can do another attack but now let's say your friend ryuji you have him to a certain level of friendship to where you can do a baton past your friend ryuji where he then takes your extra turn for you and then one of his attacks can be powered up because of that and so he does more damage because you gave the turn to him and then they can do follow-up attacks to your attack and stuff like that and um that's just how all of the different personas interact with each other. Um, Velvet Room comes into play. We can strengthen your personas you like, or if you level someone all the way up to the end of their level, you can make a persona of that type. That's the most powerful of that type you can create. Um, it usually requires a whole bunch of different personas to be sacrificed for it. Um, in order to create this really powerful version of a persona. Yeah, Cam Cam wanted to get God, but he couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, I wanted to create Metatron, but then I had neglected a friendship with a certain friend who I needed to be all the way max in order to get that most powerful persona to make this other powerful persona, and it was too late by, by then. I couldn't do it. 
So um, is the so, gameplay fast? Like, is it a no. quick battle system? No. Well, yeah, yeah, it's a quick battle system. It's the battle very system fast. is quick. So yeah, battle system's quick. Your battle's usually done within a minute or so if it's a hard one. Um, uh, boss fights, of course, take longer. Ryuji, if you level up to a certain way, he can help you auto-complete certain battles. So when I spent like an hour with playing with Reaper and got to level 93, I almost never had a smaller battle than a boss battle. Never. Yeah, you can uh, the, basically... <laughs> Basically, you can see the enemies on the map when you're walking through the, the, these palaces. Show me your true form. Yeah, and uh, you try to be stealthy so as possible. Every time you initiate um, a battle, you pull off their mask to reveal their true form. And so it's, show me your true form. Every time. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Activating uh, combat mode. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite that bad, but anyway. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so you sneak through these palaces, and you can see the enemies uh-huh. like on the map. And sneaking so you is can a huge avoid thing, yeah. them, Or you can try to so as you're uh, sneaking sneak about, attack yeah. them, and then it would be like an ambush. And yeah. So your guys can as you first. S- as you sneak about, if you get caught sneaking, the awareness level of the palace goes up. And each time the awareness level of the palace goes up, the enemies you fight get harder progressively. Um, sneak attacking successfully lowers the awareness level of the palace. Now, palace fights are great fun. I mean, the palaces, like, if this is how most turn-based combat systems are, I love it. It's great. I love the weaknesses. There's, there's I like studying the enemies. I love combining personas. Oh, that's great. When you fucking get to it, <laughs> Jesus Christ, all the fucking dialogue in between each section is just ridiculous. I mean, how much fucking exposition? How many times do we have to talk about a stupid thing several times? And how many times is Ryuji going to open his fucking mouth and say something? I just want to fucking shove my fist down his throat, pull out his fucking intestines. <laughs> that fucking kid. I would never be friends with him in real life because he's a fucking <laughs> idiot. Okay. Wait, you're not friends with idiots now? Oh, Jesus, man. All the Joe, fucking talking you? and talking and talking. <laughs> from, a, from a person who's, Darn this you. is his first time right. playing a JRPG. Like, I don't, I uh, guess I'm just not used to this, but how many times can you talk about a subject you just fucking talked about? It ranges, It's man. a video game. It Why ranges. do we need to have this conversation that goes in loops? So, hey, how about this idea? And they mull over the idea. Fucking stupid comment from Yuji. Mull over the idea. Another fucking stupid comment from Yuji. And they finally come to a conclusion. And then fucking Ryuji texts you two minutes later about the same fucking thing that you're fucking talked about. And then you mull it over again in text message. And then you fucking go into another scene where you have to talk to someone else about something else. Like the the, the, the talking is what this fucking thing is about. You're always fucking talking with someone. It's just all this fucking talking. You never you can never do what you want to do because you're talking or you're fucking going to sleep. It's like, oh, it's late. You got to go to bed now. Can't do anything else because you also have to progress in class. You have to progress in intelligence, charm, um, proficiency, kindness, and all these other things that take a fuck ton of time to actually grind out all the way, which is fine. But you can only do at most two things a day. That's all you can do. But then you're fucking talking all the fucking time. It's all this fucking talking. So if I was not trying to rush this game... I would still fucking fast forward a lot because I get your fucking idea within the first 10 minutes of talking about it. So why do I need to spend another 30 minutes of talking about the thing we just fucking talked about? And so I like I would fast forward all the fucking time in this game if I was playing it like normal. I would. Because if I miss something important, I can infer what that important thing was <laughs> later in the game based off of what they're fucking talking about now. Are there like oh Jesus so much types talking cutscenes and you know which yes. ones are important and which yeah, ones yeah so, so the ones that are important are the ones you can't keep hitting the X button to skip through um, you can still fast forward those scenes if you want but those are where the real important exposition comes into play um, usually the only ones that aren't really important are the text message the text message I fa- <laughs> pass all that as fast as I can. <laughs> And it's like you hit the fast forward button and you can just watch like 30 or 40 text messages go pass by. And like, (laughs) I want to fucking read all of that. Jesus. Did you read it all, Craig? I did. Damn it. God damn. And how many hours? That's why. And then how uh, many hours did you spend in the game? 92. So he so so he came. Here's the main difference. I skipped as much as I could reasonably skip, and he did not. And he still played the game in a focused manner. I mean, there's more you can do. He probably didn't get all of the all of his confidants up to level ten or whatever. But I he played 92 hours of the game, few. right? I skipped as much as I could. And I beat the game in 85 hours. That's ridiculous. That's so much time. Man. I'm telling you, it's these conversations. It's time in between actually playing the fucking game in the palaces that take. 
the longest. The reason why this game is 105 hours long and on average is because you want to do everything you want to do, but they just fucking just don't fucking shut up. Like, get to the fucking point sometimes. Jesus Christ. Wow. We've heard a lot from people, listeners of this show and Ultima Final Fantasy, that said this was the best RPG of the year. And yes, when you actually get to play it, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I sit down and watch. Fuck. I felt like I was taking part in, in an interactive anime is what it felt like at quote. points. I watch the game play like, uh, well, let's keep fucking talking about it. Oh, now look, we got to worry about school. And oh, wow. Now we got to worry about relationships, which is great. But just get to the point sometimes. Man, this is my first experience with a JRPG, uh, JRPG. And yeah, it's fun. Okay. I had jerkers. fun. I'm going to admit it. I had fun. But I'm just not... Like all this talking and talking and talking when they get to the point in the first little bit and they just keep talking about it. And then Ryuji, there's times I just wanted to have the team take him into a corner and just beat the ever fucking shit out of him and just have him cough up blood in the corner. Jesus, he's such an idiot sometimes. You should play 15. There's barely any story. Uh, Oh. Well, there's tons of dialogue, but you get to play at the same time. That that was my main gripe about the game, but I would give gameplay... An eight out of ten. <laughs> Those two points specifically for the the dialogue. Yeah, Naruyuji too. That's Only still two a, points that's taken still off. A, that's not bad. <laughs> that's still a story thing. I had fun. Like I, I had fun. Okay, I had fun playing this game. It was fun for me. I, the only main griping point is is just all the fucking talking. Like they just never stop talking. Mm. They don't. They don't let you do what you want to do when you want to do it because you can only do two things a day that actually progress you as a character. And you have a full fucking year laid out for you in gameplay. You, you go every – you live every fucking day. <laughs> you live every fucking day. And every time you're in Mementos and every time you're in a palace, you are playing – five hours or more in one day and then you still have the fucking rest of the day the month to live out wow yeah so i get that's probably something that's new to me but you know that might be part of why it was hard for me but they just so so much are just beating around the fucking bush i hate it so eight out of ten mm. right, okay well, the next one is music and sound i, I mean, didn't we, give a oh shit sorry <laughs> I, I keep skipping you this Yeah, you do. I don't know why. Uh, it's hard to miss. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed the gameplay. Um, I think the dialogue thing that Cam Cam was talking about, it's more story, but whatever. Uh, anyways, like the... It gives you so much opportunity to do like a ton of shit. Like you, like Cam Cam said, you build up like your personal stats to like be able to uh, to talk to certain people because you have to. Have, Which is a great dynamic, but it takes forever. Well, the forever. entirety of the game is about like relationships, your psyche, and like everything to do with like just life. Why can't I just stick and, my fist up his ass and have full full friendship? <laughs> that's why we're uh, only okay. acquaintances okay. With Cameron. <laughs> pull up a few pull on a few cards uh, all right cam cam i i'm gonna challenge you to walk up to a random stranger shove your <laughs> fist up his asshole and see how he responds are we friends now <laughs> i mean is, that, is this friendship friends i mean i can I, when i'm using him as my own puppet can i just you know fucking <laughs> yeah. Have his persona too? Just like does that? Isn't that how it works? <laughs> He's my new hand puppet. Come on, yeah. dance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Starts tapping his feet. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, I I don't know how that works, camp camp. But all right. But yeah, <laughs> I I really enjoy the gameplay a lot. Like the battles are fantastic. Uh, just normal, battles are fantastic. The normal the normal like life stuff that you have to do is pretty great too. I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of different options to to play through. Um, you can like build up your your personal stats. You can build up your relationships with your uh, with your friends. Uh, you can even go to the gym and like build up your like your yeah doing little HP things and yeah your, like mana points like you you you're basically trying to live a life of high school student you're going to school during the day you're answering quiz yes you do have test time and you have to do well so you're a tests. high school student but also you're inside of other people but also so you are a phantom thief okay, by night yeah it. so right. yeah so regular high school life yeah so you're going to movies hanging out with friends you're doing stuff to basically make you a better person overall stuff you should probably be doing in real life and not in a video game but you know <laughs> it is a great you know accurate thing about how you can't just become a person overnight you do have to work at it and that i, I was joking but yes it does take time to grade out 
being debonair, which is the highest rank of charm you can get, but stuff like that. I yeah. had to bathe a lot for that. Yeah. You had to bathe? Yeah, a taking lot? a bath once makes you more a day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was once a day, actually. Oh, and and, so and there is not a shower in where you live. So, yes, you do have to walk across the street and take a bath with a whole bunch of old men. And it makes you... Oh, like a bathhouse. It, makes you, it, yeah, it gives yeah, you, you charm. To to yeah, it gives yeah. you more charm to sit in a bath because you're hanging out men. with old men getting their jokes. No, nah, it's because like, it's, like, it's like a sauna bathhouse place. And like yeah. the thing is, it's like supposed to make your skin look better. I appreciate it. And that's it, why choice. it boosts your charm. It's because it makes you look better. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty great. I'm I'm gonna give uh, gameplay a ten as well, as well as well as uh, my as story, well as your, your my story. story score, okay, yeah. I was like, well, Cameron just gave it an eight. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, did I mention that there's there's screens that I first I thought were loading screens, but they were not loading screens. It was just screens to give you the chatter around town. It's just you have to keep pressing ads, and you can see a little dialogue box pop over there if someone's saying this thing, someone's saying that thing. Not loading screens, by the way. Just an awareness of what the crowd is saying. You know, that's all it was for. So yeah. how does how does the gameplay and story compare to four? To Persona Four? Yeah. It's actually pretty different from four because okay. um four didn't have any of that stuff really. Uh there was a lot of dialogue, but not quite as much that I remember as in five. Um but then it also has like uh randomly generated dungeons for each thing, whereas like Persona Five has like um hand like they have the specific palaces for each place instead of being like randomly generated, they have like the actual thing mapped out um and just like the even the enemies are different in in Persona Four because like they're like shadows they look more like the heartless type thing. Uh, whereas in Persona 5, like, each of the enemies is actually, like, one of the Personas. We played that trailer of Persona right when we started here, and I was immediately reminded of Kingdom Hearts. Immediately. Well, like, that's oh, that's is... what they look like when you're just, like, wandering the map, and then you, like, remove yeah. the mask, and then they, you see the Persona form. Yeah, so when you pull off the mask, so they, they make it to where you're, you're hiding from the shadows, but when you ask them to show their true form, you then see that it's a collection of various Personas that you have to fight, so. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, what is the next one? Sound and music. Uh... I really like this. The The voice acting is amazing in this game. It mm-hmm. really is. And the music is fantastic, mm-hmm. although a little repetitive. Each palace has its own theme. So when you go into a palace, it has its own theme. But So one thing you have to keep in mind is that people are in these palaces for five or more hours. So <laughs> any theme at that point becomes a little... Any theme that's one singular thing that loops over yeah. and over again? Well, it loops, but it also is like intercut with... Uh, like the, There's like different music that goes on when you get into save rooms. Uh, the safe rooms where you can save, you know? And then there's also the uh, yeah. the battles... Oh, the battles um, also have a different... One thing music. I'm really thankful for that there are certain places you spend more time in more than palaces, and that's the, the, the Mementos, that's the Velvet Room. I'm glad that they chose songs that were nice and thought through, but they didn't have anything that was annoying about them. So it could be a loop that you could hear for hours on end, but not get crazy listening to it. Unlike the music in Palace 3, I showed you guys that... <laughs> A little bit ago, that one yeah, little you fucking really, you really loot. loved that uh, palace. Man, three five thing. hours of that l- fucking <laughs> loot, man. Jesus, it was too much. Could you hum it for us? Uh no, no, I'm not going to try that. But I can sing um, the the one song that was pervasive throughout, where this one Japanese woman's just like, "I'm a shapeshifter. Love that what song. else could I be?" <laughs> And then some other nonsense. She does. She does sing some fucking not really well though. Just really, really is it well. Japanese or is yeah, it it's 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 a Japanese woman singing the lyrics to this music that have been translated to English. Mm. Really well singing it. Well, so, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, that's so. unusual. Believe me. Yeah, no, yeah, she she sings it really well. Okay. She says like the music. Here in English words, and really Japanese well thought songs through. Songs are. Right, well, s- some, some, <laughs> sometimes, like, the lyrics to me did not make sense, but, man, did she sing those lyrics, so, <laughs> c- congratulations, and so music and sound was actually really good, the, all the little sounds are great, even the show me my true form thing is not as annoying as entering combat mode for Crisis Core, um, I think it's that overlaid of electronic voice, and that really set it off, but, show me your true form is okay. 
<laughs> what about show me your moves? Show me your moves. It's from FF10 too. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Craig will know. Show me your me. moves. Oh, you'll find that's, out, Craig. No, dude, that's, that's and it's uh, not every time. She only that's says what it Captain once. Captain Falcon says constantly. She only it's says it once and it's for uh, for Smash Bros. Me to, oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't but know it that. sounds like show me your boobs. <laughs> No, but uh, the music... Well, it also sounds like effing punch when he's... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking punch! <laughs> Fucking punch! <laughs> what? Um, Excuse me? Music really well thought through, thought through. The sound in this game was really well thought through. Um, the main character, he had a voice that you would hear in little snippets like show me your true form and other things he'd say, but they didn't give you a very strong voice, but that's just so they you're didn't in give a voice. much of a persona. No, no, because you are that persona. You're the player. You and are his he has persona. multiple personas. Yeah. And so that's just letting you s- try to ease into the role of a, of a, uh, adolescent Does high schooler. Does just but, have multiple personality disorder mixed with schizophrenia? You don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> what it, what it is, what it is, is it's trying to help you fit into a role where you are the support system for everyone around you, like fucking everyone. High schooler student, he's getting his teacher, his person, like all these fucking people confiding in can him. Can you sleep with your teacher? Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes, you can. Yeah. You could sleep wow. with the doctor who does fucking shady I clinical trials totally on you. I did that. I loved it. I will be that yeah. woman's little guinea pig forever. I bet the you. Little. That's what she says. She calls you her a little guinea pig. Yeah, and does she let you crawl up her ass or what? I don't know. Is I didn't see it. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> is her name Richard Gear? <laughs> I bet you spanked to that too. Just bet you did. But uh, yeah, so there's certain characters. If you if you date the adult characters, it alludes that you do have sex with them. But if you date the high school characters, it just it just alludes to cuddly time is what it does. So yeah. Oh, so we're cool with the sexual abuse of minors it's that's part that's upon. part of the, the part of the game that you're you fighting against the abuse of minors yeah that's part that's like kind of a theme of the game your teacher he yeah, can oh, yeah consent okay yeah. he's like 17 oh, he can consent you yeah. find out the age is like the age of consent is 16 <laughs> he's like 17 you find out that uh that your teacher is a part of this maid service and you call her to your room frequently <laughs> frequently and her little maid outfit having your teacher call you master and stuff like that nice. oh yeah it's it's a that's, 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 a, that's a that's a little glimpse into a culture I that i just came. that i just uh that's part of you would love it joe i just came man <laughs> again so. <laughs> oh, in the middle of that yeah, okay. Yeah, and so it's this game is not meant for kids. Each of these people that you're helping what? the lives of, they have these dark but things that sets them apart from everything else. Why are they unique? It's usually something dark that has happened to them that you're helping them come to turn. It's really like you play the the role of a, a high 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 school a high, high schooler who's also a therapist. Therapist who's being like, teacher. You you find a rival who's who's a high school detective who's an ace detective. Well, you're just an ace therapist, man. You just bring people together, make them feel all sorts of special feelings. And uh, yeah, that's what that's what your role is. And then I was thinking that if you're really depressed as an individual in real life, just play this game and have all these characters come to you. I can always trust in you. I like for some reason I can open up, open up to you. Just like well, it's because that, you become the best that feeling. Friend. I know, and that this just if you if you feel like you need to connect to someone, play <laughs> Persona Five. Mm. If you want to feel like you're in charge and people trust you and confide in you, play Persona Five. Thanks, Cameron. I will. Good. I'm yeah, here for Joe you. Joe needs to. <laughs> oh, man. He really does, though. Yeah. Both both we you s- and Joe, I would recommend that you guys play it. Yeah. It is fantastic. Yeah, it's a good game. Okay, you cool. wouldn't go misplaying it. Sound and music. How, what's your score? Uh, I'm going to give it a nine just because it does get a little repetitive. Nine out of ten for me as well. Mm-hmm. And it's for that fucking nice. flute bagpipe thing in Palace <laughs> 3. Jesus. All, All right. right. Now, the thing that scared Cameron uh, for, for, for years. For years? And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, he had years to play it. Let's be clear. <laughs> yeah. Half a year, actually. Yeah, game's uh, old news now. <laughs> yeah. Design. The look of the game. Art design. If they were going for an anime type game, and they hit, hit home with that. I'd say the design fit the game style pretty well. There wasn't I hadn't have any design issues at all. I didn't either. The design is really beautiful looking. Actually, there's a lot of really bright colors, and there's like the they have a really highly stylized sense of a uh, of like menu and like the text messages. Yeah, that was things. one thing I want to bring up in gameplay. Like searching through your menu was not an issue at all. 
I mean, when you had a lot of stuff, you might, you know, you have to look through it, but I did not have any issue with menus and finding items I might need, so. Yeah, and, like, everything about the game, like, the like, super stylized, just, like, uh, even the loading screens, it's just, like, people walking by and, like, a, a weird kind of thing that look and, uh, like, trains and stuff. It's all, like, really... Even awesome. the main logo for P five, the 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 bold italicized P five in the red background, I like that actually. Yeah, it's on. I really, I really like that. Like that design choice for the logo of the game. Actually, when I saw, it, I'm like, oh wow, that's actually you know. Did kinda, you pull the uh, the controller? No. cover off immediately no. when you completed it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Um, that's still on that controller. Purge. Although, although I don't use that controller. <laughs> you keep it hidden away no i just leave it there because that <laughs> okay. controller is fucked anyway it uh had to survive a rage fit of battlefield one so and uh, uh i started I, I started moving sideways every time i'd aim my character would move sideways so do a little strafe i have never <laughs> broken a ps4 move. controller it's an expensive controller to break. Oh, I know. That's why I haven't done it. <laughs> That's why I break my body first. <laughs> I have given myself bruises on my legs, yes. What's wrong with you people? Uh, I haven't broken a controller. I have not cut yeah, myself on I a controller. Lo- uh, you just break ones that I loan you. I don't know what you're talking but about. But he, he doesn't do it. in food. <laughs> I was going to say, he doesn't break well, it in rage. Did you bake to it in a fair, fucking pie? That is <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Maybe. Yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> I don't know why it was in there. <laughs> oh, this middle part's a little undercooked. Oh <laughs> shit! It's a fucking controller. I mean, darn. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I do like uh, I do like the designs though. The personas look really cool. Especially uh, some of them look pretty cool. Some of them it's... suffered from anime weirdness, is what I call it. But yeah. like what? The whole game. Like the fucking dick monster. <laughs> um, there's some of them that what was over over stylized. Maru. It's Mara. Mara. Okay. Yeah, Mara. He knows what his oh, dick. Okay. So. Explain yeah. Mara. It's a dick and balls monster that's on a chariot of death. It is nothing other uh, than what persona dicks and balls. is it? What is it all about? Uh, uh, I think it does curse moves. I thought no, probably not. Anyways, Mara apparently is the god of fertility. So it has they all have like their own okay. little backstories that you can like yeah. look look into. I mean, they're, they're not they're not making up the names for these personas. It's actual alliterations yeah, to they're, real they're life based stuff. Based on things from like history and mythology and all sorts of things like yeah. that. Have you seen the Japanese penis festival? No. Look it up on YouTube. I don't think I want to, <laughs> look but it okay. up on YouTube. It's it's uh, interesting. I just keep Show learning fest. more. I just keep learning called. more and more Show about. Twenty ten. <laughs> I just <laughs> learn more and more about Joe and what he does in his spare time, and things just start to click. So, yeah, just penis I festival. do my penis in my <laughs> spare time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't you? <laughs> oh man! I mean, honestly, that Mara. Sometimes, come on. That Mara persona looks like something that Joe would honestly just try to doodle. Yeah, and then the one of one of the <laughs> one of the wait, wait, doodle in what way? We find out Felicia was one of the artists that was sent to the uh, nude client book. One of one of the uh, personas, one of the demons, was just a fucking demon sitting on the toilet, yeah, and floating in front of you. That's and then awesome. it's That's like good. it's like so and so demon concentrates, and he's like, <laughs> he's, like <laughs> he's like, looks like he's taking a fucking shit in the floating toilet. He does so. take a shit. Yeah. That, is, that is what happens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, design out of ten. Uh, I really like the design. I think I'm going to give it a nine. Nine out of ten. What takes the one point away? Uh. I really like the that there are other monsters like in Persona 4 that had their own kind of thing. They designed like a shitload of them and then there were the Personas. So there was like basically two sets of designs that were going on. And then while I like that they used the designs of the Personas for uh, for the monsters in this game, well, I, I kind of wish they had more to it a little bit. Okay. Because it was just basically uh, like those creatures and then... I don't know. Just reusing old designs. Reusing okay. old designs. Yeah, I wish there was more to it. Well, I like. I like it's fighting. the same set of personas that they've had since Persona Three. Oh, okay. Oh, it, it okay. Makes the follow up. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, 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 I like being able to fight these monsters and being able to basically take them over as well to use them for later. Yeah, um, I don't have sweet ability. I don't have any other previous personas compared against. And as far as design goes, I think it does what it was trying to do. So I'm going to give it a ten out of ten on design. You've never seen the original Persona? No. 
the one that this is obviously based on. No. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I have nothing else to compare it to. I'm not tired out about the Persona designs like Caleb might be for playing uh, the previous Personas. I don't know. I would give it a 10, but it's, I don't know. But I he mean, can't love things. He's coming, just... coming, coming in from a new perspective design, I have no issues with it all. Okay. Nothing, nothing got me It bad. is really great. Replayability. Uh, Would the, you ever replay this game? Replay yes. from the beginning. And in fact, I have been tempted to start it again since I beat it. There are speed runs. Times. I think the guy, uh, the, one of the streamers I watch because he streams a lot of Final Fantasy, his name's Sereth. I, uh, he speed ran the thing for like two weeks straight. It's kind of <laughs> sick. He got it in like 23 hours or something. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just skipping the dialogue. Yeah, course. exactly. You're just skip- spamming the <laughs> fuck out of the Skip dialogue. the dialogue. So skip ignore, the dialogue and it brings it down to Ignore relationships. Time. Yes. And, yeah. and, and then ignore relationships. Don't fucking date anyone. I'm sure don't. they have to date yeah. some people based on what you guys That's, have said. Yeah, it makes, not, it makes you, you don't really, have to. It makes certain, certain things stronger, like when you, but you don't necessarily have to. They probably went with with certain people just to get uh, certain benefits for the speed yeah. run. Yeah. But yeah. other than that, I, they would probably skip everything. I didn't watch much, but I assume something like that. Yeah. yeah. To get those faster times. Uh, um, but yeah, there, I do want, I did want to replay it like immediately and I will play it eventually again. Um, I, there's, there's a lot to like a lot of value for the replayability. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of separate choices you can make based on who you're dating. Like, um, which, sometimes which you personas want, you want to go with. Sometimes, like, sometimes you want 14 year old Putin. Sometimes you want 30 year old Putin. I mean, yeah. It's, just, it's yeah. just a toss up. I mean, was uh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's, that's just, sometimes it's oh, what you want. That's worse than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because uh, this this game allows you to do either, so yeah. why not both? Yeah, why not both? You can actually do both. <laughs> well, yeah, you can, but there's like a final scene that like they all break up with you. Anyway, hey, we're not the ones who made the game. We're not the ones who made these things possible. You are, you are not the one who made this game. Uh, yeah, so there's like a lot of uh, value in being able to choose who you spend time with um, so that you get certain benefits. Like there's the guy who sells you weapons and stuff. You can you have to have a certain level of, uh, of courage, basically, to be able to talk to him, to uh, get him to give you like the weapon that he gives you and then like spend time with him so that he sells you and gives you more stuff. Um, just certain things like that that uh, add value to the game um, for replayability, as well as the combat being fucking awesome and the story being awesome as well. Okay. So I would give it uh, a ten. For ten out of ten for replayability from yep. Caleb Craig. How about you, Cameron? Ten out of ten. For You're gonna play it again. I need that Metatron. I I need Metatron. Metatron is sweet. So I got Satan on accident, which is fucking sweet. Yeah, I never got anything out of that network fusion that was Love worthwhile. A good Satan, I do too. He has six boobs, and I don't know why. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> six why times the fun. Um, so times. yeah, I'm going to give the gameplay ten out of ten. There's so many things that I didn't do that I felt like would be fun to do. Are you going to do it? Oh, also. There's fishing in this game, guys. You can go fishing. Oh, my God. Oh, What's yeah. the fishing There, there is a fishing <laughs> minigame. The obsession, find the obsession with fishing minigames. They like JRPGs. to fish. Just don't get it. Like, they, they like to fish. Well, I guess they are, I guess they are, are an island. island. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the well, people I mean, in Japan love to fish. fish. Oh, so. Of course, there's a lot of fishing in Japan. That was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I met. know. I was going to say, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's an entire market based upon. Yeah, there's like a whole <laughs> section of the Japanese economy based on fish. Yeah, forget. See here, because like we live in the foods that we live in the desert in the mountains. It. It's like, oh, you want to go up the creek and go. Uh, fishing is like fish? an important part. Like they, forget. there was even a test question about ocean, about like fishing fish. in, in this. There was even a test question about what uh, public service the fishermen's fall under, and it's actually like a public service thing. That yeah, so. Wow. Damn. Yeah. What yeah. about dolphin hunting? I'm just <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> whaling. Yeah. There is a whaling minigame. Uh, it's a is that a public service as well? Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> dolphin oh, and whale. I, I quote it. It doesn't count. <laughs> it does, though. No, it Chicken, does. And <laughs> Chicken and cow. Chicken and cow. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, uh, the episode was great. This is one of the best games we've reviewed, apparently. To recap, Cameron gave Story a 9. Craig gave it a 10. Gameplay, 10 for Craig, 8 for Cameron. Music and sound, 9 for Cameron, 9 for Craig. Design, 10 for Cameron, 9 for Craig. Both replayability scores were 10 out of 10. For a total 
a 46 out of 50 for Cameron and 48 out of 50 for Caleb Craig, and that evens out to a 94 out of 100 for Persona 5. Now, what's the uh, Metacritic on that? Um, let's see. Persona 5's Metacritic... Is Metacritic has pieces. it at a... That's IGN. Oh, hang on. Fuck. One second. <laughs> well, what are your final thoughts on this thing real quick? Uh, other than it's a fucking amazing game? I don't know, dude. Like, it... You really need to like play it to really experience what's great about it. Oh, wow. It's it's uh it's honestly just fantastic. It like the the themes that it goes into and it gets dark. Like you spend it's time a, with some of the people and you find out there's like some crazy shit. It's a, it's really like just a reflection on current society is what it is. They try to stay very current with what the issues are going uh. on today. <laughs> and it's just really it's more of a the comment of what's going on right games. now. The most current Things that are politically re- relevant now and things that are going on behind the scenes. It's just, it's a real good game. It's in the times. All right. Someone in the chat is asking if uh, they weren't a fan of P- Persona 4 but love RPGs, should they give, them, give it a try? And I would say yes. Uh, there is a lot of differences between Persona 4 and 5. And it honestly, the gameplay is... Different type is, of game. It's it's respects. almost it's almost a different type of game, yeah. Like yeah. it's this, it's very similar, but there's a lot of changes that make it even better. Okay. Uh, the, in the gameplay, it's just fantastic. It is smooth and it is fast, and <laughs> anyone who is a fan of RPGs will love it. So Metacritic score was ninety three. A ninety three. We gave it a ninety. That's a really high Metacritic score, by the way. Yeah. And also a very high, high score from Nude Clan. What it did is, Doom get? Um, I think it was a 90, wasn't it? No, no Doom was like a, a 96. 80, 89 or 96? Doom was our best review Doom was one. really fucking Doom high. and Diablo 2 have been our best reviewed game so far, I think. So I want to I want to find out what the what the score was. It was just oh, a really good reflection really high of desires well, and it? stuff like that. So Near was pretty high. Yeah. yeah. I'm just wondering what the best reviewed game of all. I don't know. It was just I'm just a recap of it. It's you're battling Everyone has desires. Everyone has wants and needs, and uh, it's just—it's just—it's really just a, a reflection on that, and a reflection on how you, as a person, and you and your friends, can help make the world better. And, and at the end, it was a, a little cherry on top. Was we don't need superpowers to make the world better. Yeah, there's a lot of depth to this so game. Fuck you, that just superhero like, movies. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of depth to this game that just kind of like you can find while just playing it. Like certain things that you'll notice, like the personas that each of them get are like based on historical tricksters or mythological ones, uh, and it's it's pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, there there is substance to this game. I'm not gonna lie. This is not just a, a quick little playthrough there's actually something to gain from this game so yeah i looked it up in our <clears throat> our doom 2016 score was 97 out of 100 so Ooh, it's gonna be hard uh, to beat that thing joe gave it nothing but 10 i did i don't know why it's not 100 out of 100 i freaking love that game it's a fun it's a fun game yeah. but lacks the substance of uh, persona 5 yeah, but that's part of the greatness. I know, it. which is why I had you more fun even... playing that game than I did this one. <laughs> <laughs> and you could have played that game ten times. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the time it took you to play once. But I, but I learned something about I myself playing this game. It, yeah. I learned something about myself that uh, dating <laughs> you, young people is not okay. Okay, guys, not okay. It's like, where well, is this you. going? <laughs> <laughs> Midway through your sentence, but uh, like, dating your teacher is hot. So do that. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the doctor is fucking hot. Doctor would actually. It's only hot if you're a guy, right? And the teacher's a woman. Remember, it only not ruins. Hot. <laughs> it only ruins <laughs> their career, not yours. Yeah. Yeah. So. You're a student. <laughs> you don't have a career. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, ninety-four out of a hundred. Very well reviewed game. Uh, go out and play it. I guess I wish I had a hundred plus hours to. You do dive twice. into it. No, you I do. don't, Caleb. No. Yeah. I thought you were trying to make me better. Uh, I am, you know, but I also Caleb really, Craig really want you. Caleb, Caleb yeah. you, you could beat this and game in still three weeks. You at the hop. Yeah, dude. Caleb, it's, you can't beat this game in three weeks. You can't beat it in 85 hours. I beat it in 85 hours. Yeah. No. Dude. Not, no. <laughs> it's Honestly, I want you both to play it. It is fucking fantastic. So, Caleb, 
you were worried coming into this uh, review thinking of what i was going to say about it so you surprised her uh i am pleasantly surprised okay, yes. good. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was hoping say, i was surprised good i was mostly, actually here are my real scores <laughs> <laughs> i was mostly hoping that you wouldn't shit on it just because like I you were can, playing it in like a week no 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 <laughs> see i take things like that into consideration no there's one thing i got my gripe out about it it's the fucking just endless dialogue but other than that yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Well, speaking of endless dialogue, Caleb and I have a forced entry to get through. How yeah. is that about endless dialogue? <clears throat> well, we're going to be playing Burnout Revenge, which oh, is a player yes. winner, which is a game that has <laughs> fucking. That's a game no I want dialogue. to join. That's a game I want to play. There with are you plenty guys. of lyrics in the music, right. though. Yeah, well, this honestly, this is the one where you have to go uh, full jihad on the game, and you get to blow yourself <laughs> up after you wreck. <laughs> you can do that. You can do that. <laughs> You could do that in Burnout 3. No, you couldn't. Okay. You couldn't blow yourself we up. We had a yeah, freaking thing on Twitter. Who was more offensive, me or Schweiss? Yeah. Really? That's a, I all it that? means is holy war. It's a holy war against your enemies. <laughs> yeah. So no, no. In it's the, just that. Religion... just said going full jihad. <laughs> yes. It's all about your per- persona charisma. He's maxed out his charisma score. And you still got some grinding to do. <laughs> yeah. Go take a bath, uh, Joe. I can't believe. Guys, who did you vote for? <laughs> guys, I didn't uh, vote. I didn't, I didn't vote. vote either. I just saw I voted results. for you. But I, you know, I here's the truth. Vote. Here's the truth. I am more offensive, but I am a joking and you aren't. You're just an offensive human being. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are mostly jokes. Mine are mostly jokes. What it doesn't come about? off that way. Though. No, it's, I have a drier sense of humor. I think people, it's hard for and people to separate you from being offensive. <laughs> as a joke. Like, so I would just, say, I would say I truly am more offensive. That's your, that's your persona. You but, are, you have been labeled the ass and that's the role you shall have. You are the ass of the show. How am I more, more offensive than Schweiss? What do I say that can beat really? going full jihad? <laughs> I want to put that on a shirt. So I mean, <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to go full jihad. <laughs> like a screenshot of Burnout Revenge. Just blow Because what you can do is you can, uh, you can blow up your car after you wreck to knock out your oh, opponents. Oh, man. And that's not Jeez. something you could do in three. What you could do is blow well, you up. Could do it, super you could do it in crash yes. mode. But you can do it in the but racing they, But now. they all come oh. to suck the Schweiss cock like you know. So, But they don't do ra- road rage as well. I know. They don't. That's why I don't like the game. That's why Are we're we still talking it. about Muslims? No, yeah. no, no, we're talking about burning. We, we were never oh. at any time talking Sorry. about Muslims. Oops. Oh, if I would—that's why you're more offensive. No, if I would have said that was a joke. If but I would have said holy war, would it have been different? Yes, that's yeah. That's what it means, though. Uh, yeah, it's a softer. And, and, and Megadeth uh, song about holy war. Yeah, so, yeah, that's automatically where my mind went as well. <laughs> yeah. Think about real holy wars. I thought about Megadeth so, for one second. And second, then uh, moved over to- second place in the vote was uh, Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice. Third was Borderlands Two, and in last place, thankfully game i didn't want to play a prototype have you ever played prototype I played the demo i was like yeah this is like crappy infamous and i never played it it's it's all right honestly there's like some problems with like if you use a gun it's really it has kind of terrible aiming but other than that it's pretty fun all right well thank you uh that was skull hottie right yes for his review um, yes it was or his, his uh, forced entry uh, guys, keep in mind you can submit more than four, but four is the minimum. So that is the way to you submit more than four, and then we pick four yeah. out of them. That's how it's supposed to work. And then Schweiss didn't put the right thing on the Patreon. No, the Patreon. thing is right on the Patreon. Oh, is it? Yeah, Did it's at least it? four. No, it's been that way the whole time. At no least one, four. No one has given well, us more I, than I said, four. I think I thought we agreed on ten. Being they have to give us. At least I honestly 10 don't games. remember that conversation, but and then, whatever. Okay. I think it's fine if they give us just four. I don't care. Oh, the, the issue was we talked about this last week. The issue was if they nominated Wheel of Time. Well, we can always tell them beforehand. <sighs> then there's like there's this some game games that we, that we don't have systems for. Play. Like we can't play Breath of the Wild because none of us have a. Or I do. Two of us don't have switches, which is oh, why we I take. have a Wii U. Thank you, thank you. We could problem. usually, we could probably just borrow it. Why don't they have like a Dylan console? Dylan would probably let you borrow yeah. a Switch. So, so we could have a Switch from Dylan, Wii U, copy for Caleb, and play it. Yeah. So, I mean, we're not super. I mean, yeah, Breath of the Wild gets nominated. We'll find out. What if I said that has been more offensive than this guy? Jeez, just get off it already. This is <laughs> driving me insane. It was like three to, it was three to two, man. There was Dude. like a good amount of votes for me over him. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot I'm of votes gonna... for him, to be fair. Yeah. What is it? 
what have I said that is more offensive? It's more like your it personality. Was, Joe, what my we, personality is offensive? Yes. Joe, Joe, what you keep you, <laughs> who, who's the one who's the one who posted this this poll on Twitter? Who's it was the, Joe? It was me. So you keep you fucking had, doing these popularity contests. Yeah. Like you Joe, you're you're obsessed with these popularity contests, always trying to measure who's that wasn't the most a popular. To, it is though. You're asking who's it's most more of offensive. an anti-hero contest. Yeah, no, no, but is. he's doing this thing he, where he where he can feel bad about the score later. Like just stop throwing it out there. <laughs> You're doing it to yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a oh, <laughs> what it, what it comes down to is who who likes who more. Really, what it is. Wait, so if they liked, do they like the offense or do they not like the offense? Though, take a look at politicians. The look, more charismatic, the more people week, like a person, week, the more they overlook <laughs> things that that person does. It's the truth. Last week. Who said what about people who vape? Now, now I went off about people vaping. Now behind it was about vape selfie, behind the scenes, not about people. Who there vape. is no doubt who the most offensive person is behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, there is no doubt who the most offensive yeah, person Craig. is. It wasn't on the poll. <laughs> yep. But no doubt, no doubt, yeah. no doubt. Okay, no, yeah. I, I, we agree. Yes, that Caleb yeah. Schweiss is a disgusting. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. You're putting words vape. in my mouth. Don't put words in my mouth. He winks at me. You know, this is over video, right? (laughs) I know. (laughs) But that's part of, part of, you know. And then I had to say, hey, I have nothing against people who vape. (laughs) Well, really. It's fine. Literally does have. You are the one. It's fine, but you have. You are the one who got off. (laughs) You are the one who got off on that, though. But I got off against the vape selfie. You went off about vaping before, too, though. Way more specific. We've both gone off about vaping. Yes, but I will I say. I think the vaping is better the, than smoking. The, it the is, point? but you are still a smoker. What the? Point? Because when they say, when you say I quit smoking, I what you rather, really mean is I quit my addiction to I tobacco. I would rather and people. That is vape what that means. Cigarettes. I would rather people to vape tobacco. than smoke. They I would have, too. They made a life choice that has making a life better. Yes, I can say they have successfully and successfully I quit smoking. Prefer the smell. And that's the whole reason Skills. vaping was invented in the first place. I agree, but I I disagree. What time. I don't like is when there's high schoolers who think that this vaping thing is the cool new in thing to do, and they start vaping and taking and nicotine. Selfies. You know what? Look, look. All part of a uh, the way they want to present their image. This is all cool for them. When someone smokes and they turn to vaping instead, they are making a positive life choice. They are, but they them. are still addicted to nicotine. So here's they the problem are, I have with They are, but they are taking a nicotine, which problem, is less harmful than smoking a, a cigarette. The problem is, is that when you say, when everyone says it's tough to quit smoking, what they say, they're not saying it's tough to... Not f- or to not freeze your ass off in the middle of winter because you have to go outside but to smoke it's not tobacco. This, it's not this thing that it's, you can just quit smoking. I know. Yeah, that's why they haven't. If they're vaping instead, they're still addicted to nicotine. That is what yeah, they no mean. One's arguing. That they're, is what they mean no by quitting that. smoking. Yeah, but they're not. They're they're still ingesting nicotine, which they still get well, that still rush from. Patches, they're which still they nicotine, to help quit right? But nicotine you're just is helping to the them. fucking patch. No, <laughs> you no, slowly yes. wean your way off. Yeah, and that can help you do that. But if you just, I would rather they vaped than smoke. I would. And what I I don't like is these kids who get into vaping and talk about their builds all to be cool. These vaping contests, that's blowing it out of proportions, you know, physically. And, uh, you know, the whole discussion goes, if you vape because you smoke, that's better. If you vape because you think it's cool, that's what we that's the that's where we're getting to the douchebag. I would say that you I would say the difficult part of quitting smoking is breaking the habit, the chemical yes. addiction to nicotine. And if you vape, you have not. And that's that. and that's one thing where vaping you are comes improving in. yourself, but you are still addicted to the substance. That's so you where you didn't quit smoking in the traditional sense. When someone says well, when I say quit that, smoking, they mean they're quit cigarettes. I know, but yeah. they're not. They didn't quit the nicotine. It's not hard to quit smoking on a piece of fucking uh, like a leaf and a balled up in a piece of. So another thing, that's thing not about what makes it tough. It's the that chemical. makes vaping better to help you quit smoking than patches is the habit of being able to put or something in your mouth and not smoke. Quit, but also not do as much harm to your body. Yeah, exactly, which is fine. Yeah. But you're still addicted to the substance. Yeah, so in a way. Yeah, have any people. Do you argue with people? Well, not, well, someone I've seen people say I've seen people that helped me quit smoking, and I've done it for four years now. I'm like, well, you didn't quit. Uh-huh. Smoking, you just quit. I mean, this you quit smoking cigarettes. But no, but, listen but, but, but no. It's a, yeah. You are addicted. Well, it's where does the addiction lie? Where is the term smoker lie? It's with an addiction, I think. Alcoholic is with an addiction. I don't. If I drink, I'm not addicted to it, so I'm not an alcoholic. If I drink constantly and get blackout drunk every time, then I am. Literally smoke going on, so they are smoking. 
Exactly. Well, and it's, but I, it's I do agree that it is an they, improved. They quit smoking cigarettes. It is an improved thing. So that is good. And that is a positive. It is an improved thing. It, it, when it's made as a life choice, like, I'm not going to if they smoke start with versus vaping, though, vaping. That is ridiculous. But if, they, if it's like. Don't start it. It's a, it's a, the whole these high school kids went and bought these vaping things. And they're, they're taking. I just, that's what I don't like. I, I like it when it's a, a, a tool to assist you getting off of something that's really harmful for your body. And that's what I that's where vaping to me is is All good. I'm trying to say is that I'm not as offensive as Schweiss. Is. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not even in the same damn league as Schweiss is when it comes to offense. I am nowhere okay. near it. Like I told okay. you, I said when you horrible when things. you put it when you put it on Hor- Twitter, things that make me shrivel wrong, up like a race wrong. when I hear them. When you put it on Twitter, you make it a popularity contest. I'm sorry, it's that's a- the truth of the matter. That's what you did. You turned it into a popularity now, contest. So am I more popular because I'm more offensive? No, no, he's just more popular. He can get away with being offensive. Is what it is. <laughs> All right, or we has have, it been that we Joe have has some- offended me? I think. We say and, offensive things to different types okay, of people. Okay. And another thing, another thing is, what it is you get under people's skin more. That's another thing about the, the dog popularity thing contest. was all you too. Dog, th- oh, the dog, the dog thing <laughs> was all was you. It. Maybe that I don't, was it. I don't really care for him either. But I <laughs> didn't go nearly as off. Okay, we have some last but minute questions for Persona. All right, last all right, minute questions. Right. You Whatever. don't have to tell me. Right, right, I know. Happy weekend asks, what would your persona happy in real weekend. life? What would happy be your persona in what? real life? I'm pretty sure Joe would have Mara. Actually, he says that. I think Mara would be perfect for Joe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's nice. At least you get a dick and balls in a in a, in a wheelbarrow. That's the only time you can ever that's have the, that. That's so. the best type of yeah. dick and balls uh, to have presentation. Yeah. That you could have. As I guess this question is so pointed big, to me and you wheel. because well, we're the ones who is, play yeah. the game. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, what would I don't know? Okay. I because I don't really understand like what makes what persona is tied to what person. Like, what would Schweiss have? Would he fucking have the demon on a toilet? Probably. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> that seems like his thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess. I guess he gets that. So yeah. Yeah. Notice the toilet. Very offensive. Yeah, it's a place of relaxation. <laughs> it's where he can spout his filth in a clean way. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe people think. Geez, just get off I of it. Okay, I, can't I think get off Siegfried of for me. I like Siegfried a lot. Yeah, but does is Siegfried you though? You just Siegfried. like Siegfried, but Siegfried are you Siegfried? Me. Yes. See, Joe, you got to get off. You turned it into a popularity contest. Honestly, oh I'm, I'm going to stop swearing stop because that makes me automatically. But that's less not going to work that's, for that, you. That doesn't it's make you on our platform. Not swearing is not. Okay, mean shit Joe, to people Joe, listen to us. Constantly, constantly advertising that you're not going to swear <laughs> is like saying, like it's like I'm somebody who's it. vegan constantly telling other people to be vegan. Oh yeah, no, I stopped swearing. My life is so Meat much is better. murder. No, I'm not saying Don't that. Don't swear. I'm saying, that. I'm saying it's going to make me about 10% less offensive. No, it's going to make you more offensive. Yeah. How's that going to make me more offensive? Because you're going to because keep if you about swear, it. then people who swear feel more comfortable around you. If not, you just seem pompous, which is <laughs> it's true. It's true thing. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, just so pompous. It's really just it's really it's your 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 attitude and how you go about things that rub people the wrong way. You turn it into like, like yes, but how you is say that equal well, to offense because people are offended by the way you present your opinion. That's the only thing. Yeah, I'm just going to stop talking. No, that's part of the show. No. All right, the other thing, the other question, uh, what is the most boring part for, of the game for you? you uh, for me, the game dragged on too dick long. Dick yes. uh, just <laughs> lost interest halfway through, sadly. So what was that? It's so- Oh my god! I guys. just noticed that fucking... twice ate an entire thing of Tic Tacs over the course of this show. So <laughs> I do that uh, all the time. There was a full <laughs> thing of Tic Tacs. There was a full thing of Tic Tacs in his hand when he came to sit down, and now there is an empty thing of Tic Tacs. See, fresh breath is the way not to be offensive. Yeah. That ain't fresh. Those are orange. <laughs> yeah, those are candy. Those are orange. Like, those are candy Tic Tacs. <laughs> I mean, I love them too, man. I don't blame you. It's just wow. That's some that's some tic tac love. All right, he asked, "What's the most boring part of the game for you?" Most boring. <laughs> I think we went we went over that. Yeah, yeah we kind of did. Uh, for me, it was probably Palace Five. I didn't care for that one as much as the other ones. What was Palace Five again? It was the space station. Oh, so uh, Okumura Foods. Yeah, I thought it was okay. 
I thought it was okay too, but it was like not the as... boss battle was really boring though. Yeah, the boss battle was probably the most boring one out of uh, out of the, all of them. Yeah, here fight some enemies you've already fought, and then fight me, and I'd only last for like two seconds. Well, it was like the last, but robot it's re- you but fight it, that's ridiculous, right. right? But it was really just, just a setup for bang, bang, it was burger. really just a setup for the the turn that was the the turn of the story, which was what that setup was for. Yeah, it's true. But so yeah, God, that fucking Big Bang Burger attack from that guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> like one shot all but no all of my dudes with yeah. that one attack yeah fucking hell dude it's only like a percent chance that he'll kill your dude with that move and he killed all of my dudes yeah fucking hell all right all right yeah. next question is uh futaba or an what do you mean what's the question here is futaba or an well if if it's a question of who to date then the obvious answer is Anne because futaba's 14 it's true yeah i like futaba yeah, as a character more though <laughs> yeah. futaba as a character her progression is it's more disgusting, in depth. disgusting despicable human and as a character I'm be as offensive as i can be towards her 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 inspiration Let's start it now her inspiration <laughs> of Anne's inspiration is 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 less convincing she's more of the pretty girl who is suffering because she is the pretty girl yeah. <laughs> but as a that person to never date existed. it does exist it yes nope. it, it's Definitely it's the exist. alienation of someone who's pretty because people because are either a are really offensive to them because they're really pretty or be too scared to talk to them because they're really pretty towards a pretty person no oh, okay no i have not apparently okay. i have well, you're I've offensive to everyone. <laughs> all people. Oh, yeah, you're offensive to all people. Uh, so the next question is, Equal opportunity who is the offender. best girl and why is Risei better? Risei is not even in this game. She's what? from 4. I, yeah, I cannot answer that question. Well, so. who, who was the best girl for you? Obviously, Kawakami. It was either Kawakami or um, uh, Mikado. 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 <laughs> Mikado. <laughs> Mikado. I was feeling some things for Hugh. 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 Fumi. Hugh. 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 Fumi. Hugh. Fumi. Fumi. <laughs> I was feeling some things for her, but uh, Kawakami coming over to my room was really great. Yeah. She gives you a special massage, dude. Yeah. And she does all your fucking tours for you so you can do more things throughout the day. That's true. That, my friend, she also can is give a you, great she benefit. She can give you the massage Happy so that you ending. can do stuff after the going to mementos. <laughs> so the stuff. reason why she's the best, in my opinion, is because <laughs> you only have a certain amount of things you can do during the day, and she can make it so you can do one more thing a day. And that is great. It is pretty sweet. All right. Um, how did you feel about Sojiro? I, I, and I what did, ending did you get? I uh, got the the hard but good ending. The true ending. The true ending. Yeah. 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 I like Sojiro. He was a really Sojiro awesome character. was great. Character. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the beginning, he was a little gruff. I'm like, why did you even take me in if you're going to act this way? But as you progress well, like, with your yeah, relationship. He, he does have a... Uh, he, he feels stuff for you later on. Yeah. And so he's, he's good he, he turns he turns into a, the, the fatherly figure that you help along. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Morgana, best cat or best car? Best car. <laughs> he's a good car. He's better as a car than a cat who tells me when I can fucking go to sleep and do nothing else. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Morgana. And that is it. That is good. the last question. Okay. Well... That's probably it for today. Yeah, man. next week uh, we should have had the hog today. I was looking at the calendar and I saw oh, Saturday, and I was guys like, okay. put in your hog. Yeah, put in your hog. We'll I, have heard, the updates I, I looked at Disa put in her hog last night. So. A few people have, yeah. yeah. Um, so catch us up on that. We'll announce leaders next week. We'll also have a drawing for a video game. Are we putting any copies of Persona up there? I I'd throw mine up. Okay, I might. Uh, yeah, I'll throw mine up. But I kind of want to do a little bit of New Game Plus first. But I'll throw mine up. It's okay, give me one of those. Hey, we owe it to you, but it's going to take a couple yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait till Schweiss plays it. Or? <laughs> yeah, so uh, stay tuned for that. And yes, get your hog in. And we'll yeah, we see you guys next week. No, Jake. Hold on, I got a question from me to you. From us to you? Yeah, from us to you. Okay. Oh in God. what way is Joe more offensive than Kate? Oh, Jesus. my God, dude. <laughs> That that is why in you're more offensive. Way. How so, is that an offensive statement? You're, you're putting up because your you're fucking, fucking self worth on the pedestal of the show, and you're wanting people to basically I just don't want judge to you because as, as offensive <laughs> because as jihad, dude. Over here. 
no, that the, you gotta let it go. Let let your let <laughs> yeah, you're letting your insecurity you show here a little bit. You gotta let stuff go, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> you gotta let look, stuff look, go. Look, I know. I'm one with the wind and sky. I know okay. when it comes to the popularity contest, I'm gonna lose, so I don't talk about it, so I can feel okay. <laughs> Joe, you just just gotta let it go. I'm not asking who's more popular. I'm asking. But the you obvious, were the obvious That's answer the whole to that point. is me. Look, I love offensive comedians. It doesn't bug me that someone's offensive. What bugs me is that I try to censor myself just a little bit. Twice <laughs> doesn't. You are the and point. I'm seeing as the offensive. The, the point is you're missing that it turned into a popularity it's contest. Not a popularity. I know it's not, but that's what I it turned give into. A crap that I'm less popular than twice is. I honestly don't. But because you I know the don't truth. realize is yes, we know the truth, <laughs> and you can live good with the truth. But you, when you throw it up on Twitter, that's what makes. When it you more throw it up on yeah. Twitter, that's a kind of offensive. B, you look a little insecure, and C, they're going to vote for who they like more. Well, this isn't a vote. I'm wondering why I am more offensive. Oh, jeez, just let it go. It's because you'll of feel better. This is why you're more. Offensive. <laughs> what is offensive shit, about shit this? Is just this. What is this? It's you. You are offensive. You're not getting it. You as a person are just offensive. Well, that's just rude. You, you offend people's sensibilities. <laughs> we are getting just really in under his there. skin right now. Holy crap, God, Caleb. Fucking damn it, Joe. <laughs> Let it go. See, am I offending you right now? Yes. In what way? See, because you want to <laughs> go. Hold on. God let's go to the, let's go to the definition of offense. All right. Welcome, welcome that, to uh, Getting Fat, uh, the special edition. When where I say someone is offensive, we offend each other. As someone who says, really offensive things like actual statements that w- one would consider not okay to say everything is okay to say so you're trying to quantify so there's no offense everything's exactly. permitted yeah there's, like, everything is okay to make fun of or nothing is okay to make fun of okay that is how all that right. works all right i was uh, actually funny enough i was listening to this uh right, public radio jihad on this <laughs> <laughs> i was like, just let it fucking go but i was listening to this uh, public radio said uh, that show more than twice where now, where when when doctors are allowed to to make jokes about things and where is it offensive for a doctor to make a joke and where is it not offensive for a doctor to make a joke so the story is this 16 year old kid comes in he goes i think there's a piece of plastic in my bladder and the doctor goes well, how, why do you think that? He goes, well, I went to sleep and there was a piece of plastic on, on the windowsill. And when I woke up, the p- plastic was gone. And the doctor's like, well, whatever. And so he, he looks and sure enough, there's a piece of plastic in the kid's bladder. And so he pulls it out. And as he's walking out, he's, the kid's not in the room anymore. He's like, he's talking to the nurse. He's like, I'm glad he didn't lose his cat. <laughs> <laughs> but see it's like when are doctors allowed to make jokes like that what is it funny and when is it offensive uh, it's all about the timing and the situation exactly timing and situation i say things with an authoritative air yes yeah is when that, you when you view that your opinion not, when you view your opinion above other people's opinions and yes joey we had this whole thing where if it doesn't exist for you it doesn't fucking exist for anyone else but these are all <laughs> sarcastic statements people but don't you get that, that way you can't do top. sarcasm you can't do I it i do sarcasm <laughs> all the time Nobody can tell All the entire time. Nobody can fucking tell, and but it's the your, You can tell, can't you? When I can't tell because when your I've known you for years. When your okay. your presentation so is just people think I'm serious all the time. Yeah, because you part don't. Of, so part, part of it, it is because you can't fucking Including take this a joke. Conversation, no, 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 no. Part which of it is a joke conversation. Part of it is guys, this is not serious. <laughs> when you when you take you can't take a joke sometimes, and when you try to give a joke, people think you're serious because you can't take a joke. But okay. I can't take jokes. You're right. I can't tell when someone else is being sarcastic, but I give it all the time. I right. call it the degolier curse because my entire family is like this. We'll all say really sarcastic, dry things and won't mean it. But the other person will think that they meant it 100%. So when I say that all dog owners who own more <laughs> than one dog are a piece of shit, that is a joke. That is not. Eh. An actual opinion. I think you're, I it think is you're... over the top. It is over the top. Do we know this? At least me and Craig know this. Craig, my best friend here, he knows. <laughs> he knows that I am kidding. <laughs> no, I think there's something inside you who think who actually thinks the things you say. I mean, that's what. So people use humor as a shield to say <laughs> things they wouldn't normally be able to say. Yeah, but now people think. 
it's just real. It's not humor. It's just Joe is an a hole, <laughs> and thus of more offensive. All right. Somebody says, as someone who has listened to for the show for years, it's hard to tell at first. Wow. That so you, sound, you remember when I, I said... I must sound like a raving lunatic. You remember when I said there's a uh, there's like a Joe grind that you have to get through <laughs> before you can stand? That That's what I mean by it's that. It's a dry there's, there's sense a, of humor. There's a curve before is? they can tell that you're actually I can't it. help but have a dry sense of humor. I don't know how to do... I have a dry sense of humor, I too. I think all of us do. I don't know how to do We, we all get pretty fucking dry. So dry. No lube between us. No lube. No, it's all we'll raw. Just shove it in. Can't even spit on it first. Yeah, that's lube. So I maybe maybe people just don't know I'm joking. If I ever that say something like case. way over, whenever the top, you say something here, <laughs> Joe, 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 let's try this out. Let's see. Let's try this out. Let's say every time you say something dry or sarcastic, you have to get you have to give a little wink with it, <laughs> and then see how many people you freak out. <laughs> how often are you dry and joking? It, we judge it by how many people now Guys, feel really scared of being my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, now there's an example of a joke, which is a joke, but not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it is a joke. I don't. I. It. Here's the honest part. Honest confusion. Oh, okay. Absolute confusion, because to me, what's more offensive is saying, "Let's go full jihad." Right? <laughs> See, you, you keep then, you keep picking at that one then, example. Well, you like you you can't let it go. It's number one example on my mind right now because he literally said it, and then I'm just thinking he won a poll. I won a poll this <laughs> this week that said I was Joe, more offensive than Trust. You I were never the, said anything. You were the, the whole the whole Joe, root the Joe, whole root of it is like the fucking five poll. times since he said it. Yeah. The whole the whole root Even of it. Even if it was a joke, you have been saying it. You got to stop putting things like this right. up up to a vote. You just got stop with the fucking I'm just, polls. I'm all about democratic. Man. Stop with the polls, man. <laughs> There's nothing more important than democracy. This is a dictatorship. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Did you about. get that wink? I fucking got the wink. The wink? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Pieces of shit. I don't know what I just said. See? Yeah. See, yep. That was two. Joe, that you got it. It's 50 when you, cents towards charity. When you stop caring how others view you and stop fucking putting it for a poll, you're going to feel Cameron. better. You're going to feel better. When I don't care how people view me, I became really fat okay no be conscious <laughs> really be, long. be conscientious yeah. about about yourself about your health yeah. and then be a nice person but then just keep doing you and you'll be happier i do my stop every fucking single night <laughs> <laughs> there's another wink in case you didn't hear yes in case you didn't, didn't hear, hear that wink, wink. Yeah. oh my god maybe if i had like pink eye there'd be some like, right, squishiness in there <laughs> plugs yeah do plugs joe you want me to do plugs? Yeah, I got my cat. balding. <laughs> go, I was, go I was fuck thinking, that socket right there. Go <laughs> fuck it right now. No, no, no. I was thinking. I was thinking of like cat tail plugs that he could, uh, you know, shove up his ass. But you know, that's where my mind I'm went. I'm sure. I'm sure you were. Okay. Uh, I was told I'm pretty smart and kind. <laughs> he was which, kind. He was smart. Soothing words. Yeah, which is. Uh, all things I've never been told in my life. So I'm pretty true. sure it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why the fuck are you winking? I'm winking because this is not a serious thing. So, so someone, someone said, my God, hug that man so we could move on. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, since you're his best friend. <laughs> he's my best friend. You getting salty now, too? No, no I'm, I'm fine. fine. Oh, okay. No, he's, uh, he's getting salty over there. Can't stand it. Uh. <laughs> I mean, how many? How, how often am I serious, Caleb Craig? Caleb Most Craig. of the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just Joe, like, Joe jokes quite often. It's pretty much all the time. Okay, so how often are my statements jokes? If I say something crazy, is it a joke? Or is it a serious statement? That depends on what we're talking about. I think the joke comes from a serious place, but it's blown out of proportion. That yeah, that's okay. That's the thing. But I know that it's being blown out of proportion. But yes, nobody else and thinks. Yes. And so do we. And so and so when it exists so for guys, Joe, it must exist for everyone else. I did maybe other people can that was something that was brought up on our little thing that we'll have to put out someday. The behind the podcast thing with um, William. 
Oh yeah. It was something where he thought I was like deadly serious or or the girl thought I was deadly serious when I said we need to shove a, a spike dildo up that guy's ass <laughs> for screwing us over. And so she started to read her scriptures <laughs> in order to purify <laughs> her soul and what she had just witnessed. But for me, it was a joke. I'm going to start wearing I'm going to start wearing a cross just so I can hold it out to you whenever I'm offended. <laughs> We need to shove a spike dildo up that guy's ass and carve something on his chest is what I said. If you guys heard that, you would know it was a joke, right? Yeah, it wouldn't be a very good one, necessarily. I'm not not (laughs) arguing whether or not they're good jokes, but they're not serious. I'm not seriously saying, let us go. Let's sodomize this man. Yeah, I I wouldn't think that that's actually what you want. Let's go. You're like grabbing the torches. Like, are we not gonna? Are we not gonna sodomize this man right now? Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Speaking of sodomy, you can find me at Twitch or uh, Twitter <laughs> at Twitch at Joseph DeGolier. You can also find me on Twitch streaming uh, streaming on Ultima Final Fantasy for now until I get another new clan game. I have to play. Yeah, it'll be a little while before we have. Another yeah, this now. is my dry spell season. In you the, know uh, what? Rotation. Persona Five is such a great game that everyone's going to want to fucking listen to this review and get this tail into it. Everyone's going to find all are, this are juicy ashamed, little bit. Cameron? I am not ashamed. No, I'm not ashamed at all. Okay. Okay. You can find me at at Obsidian Bar. You can find me at Nude Clan Cam. Me at UFF Podcast. And uh, you can go shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> See, you get a. Fi- okay, no, Why well, not actually? If I know, I what know. Does you're that not even fucking mean. It means stop working, or like, like when you say something has shit the bed, it basically just breaks. Okay. It's a term. I. It's weird. Yeah, because I mean, how many people actually shit the bed other than babies? Dude, honestly, I've only heard that said I you're in fucking say. like uh, always sunny. You know, actually, I only hear that from you. Like, I'm, I'm thinking back that you, I've, I've heard you? the I've heard the term shit the bed and. I've only heard it from Caleb, and I feel yeah, like I, just I, I hear it all Caleb the time. I hear it all the time. It. I'm like, I feel like this term, shit the bed, is a common term, but it's, actually, uh, I only hear it from Caleb, I and he says it all the time. Yeah. It's in Silicon Valley. They say it a bunch. Yeah, yeah. And I just barely watched all of that, so. Oh, good. You're caught up? Oh, yeah. I fucking love that show. It was good. Season four is good. <laughs> Not as good as season seven of Thrones, but, uh, you know. Ah, it's a good thing I've watched it all the way through. Oh, have you? No. Oh, I was like, shit. That was another joke. That was I not. Also, that was like a half. So it was sarcasm. It was sarcasm. I could tell. That was sarcasm, guys. Guys, <laughs> sarcasm. One what that a sarcasm. B not sarcasm. Come on, uh, write wait. it down on your papers. <laughs> Hand them in. We'll grade them later. <laughs> All right. So you can also follow us on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash nude clan gaming. Um, Great way to support the show is Patreon. You can pledge a certain dollar amount to our our uh, podcast per month. We have some great reviews. I think I still need to release the Jurassic Park 3 commentary on there. I keep forgetting to do that. I'll put that on later tonight. Um, you guys can buy your Amazon products through our Amazon link. And speaking of Amazon, you can also subscribe to our Twitch channel for free if you have Amazon Prime. They give you one free subscription on there. So please use that for the Nude Clan. And I am working on some... Uh, some little emotes. They denied the one for you, though, because I had to alter the image a little bit, and they said it needs to be the exact same image. So I need to find a way to make an image that is that size of that picture, uh, and the file size needs to be the same for three different sizes of image. So it's a giant pain in the ass. I don't know how to do it. Okay, send me the instructions. I'll figure it out. Okay, uh, And I want to make emotes for all That was for, sarcasm. No, I'm just kidding. For all that wasn't us, sarcasm. So it's B. All right, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, come hang out with us. I'm probably going to stream. But me saying that was sarcasm was, in fact, sarcasm. I'm going to stream a lot this October. I want to do a bunch of Halloween-themed games. Um, I think I'm going to start out Monday with Costume Quest 2. So come hang out with me then. Joel will uh, swing out with his Cocktober, too. So. <laughs> yeah, Cocktober. That's right. There is no October without Cocktober. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, come hang out with us and go to the website, check out the... <laughs> Check out the forums. Ask your questions. We'll answer them. You know the drill. All right. See you guys next time. Enjoy the nude. May the list go on. Live always in the nude. Mm, Fajita. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Wouldn't that be quoting now? Isn't that okay? <laughs>